And brothers, and tonight is going to be amazing. The Lord is so good. We are going to live, laugh, and love on purpose. We're going to begin to learn to live and be the good man of the house. If the good man of the house knew the enemy was coming, he would have prepared for that robber, that thief that was coming in. And so it's going to be like that, guys. We're going to be chilling. We're going to be at peace. We're going to have everything's going to be going good. We're going to forget to pray. And that's when the enemy comes and sneaks in your home. That's when the Lord comes back. And so we need to be prepared. We need to be praying. We need to be fellowshipping. We need to be getting together, getting equipped. And so that's why we're doing this tonight. Even though it's a holiday for most people, the Lord loves you and he wants to be involved in your night i have a communion cup here if you guys want to do communion let me know in the chat i feel led to do it we did it yesterday at my daughter's house and it was such a blessing the lord allowed me i brought it with me to go and have a cookout at their house and the lord allowed me to sneak it in you know among the persecution among being called oh she's preaching again you know jesus knew that he was going to put us that the wheat was going to be among the tares, that the just was going to be among the unjust. He said, let them grow together, and then that way you don't pull up the wheat, pulling up the weeds, and that way you know who the wheat is. So it's so important. So good, Victoria. How is your day going? God bless you. God bless you. So um, if you want to do communion, get, get your stuff ready. It don't matter what it is, but I'll tell you what. This has been the greatest investment of my life. I think they're like $24 for 50 of them. And I've been doing it every day almost with just me and the Lord during my Bible reading time just to help me to know that I am one with God in Christ, you know, and that he lives within me and I'm the house of the Lord and his body that was broken for me and his blood, which was poured out for me and for the sins of all. And it helps me keep, um, a concept of the truth and so it's so important we are symbol and token people the lord is about symbols and tokens and we are as well so so happy that you're here victoria i hope that it wasn't um in invading your time or anything like that i hope it wasn't um hard for you to get here but i appreciate you guys coming i wanted to make sure i was here for anybody because i know that during these times of year that people struggle People struggle. I used to till I have the Lord in my life now, and it's so much better than it used to be without him. So I know there's a lot of drama going on in families because the Lord said, don't think I came to bring peace. I came to bring the sword. Your enemies will be in your own home. And so my kids have been watching the martyrs cartoons. I forget the guy's name. But he almost burned up as a child and he was saved. And then Corey Ten Boom, that story. And as I've watched that with them, just, just as I'm working and stuff, just having it playing on the TV, I'm learning that the Lord <clears throat> planned for us to be amongst the tares, that we are the light and the darkness. And he knew we were going to, okay, praise God, praise God. Um, he knew that we were going to be persecuted. He knew that we were going to be under under deep, deep persecution and trials and tribulations and, and all that. And I read this part in this book. And guys, it's so amazing. I have to share it with you. I read it on the way home to my whole family last night from um, my daughter's house. God has restored that relationship. He's restoring all kinds of things that you think is impossible. God, and nothing is impossible with God. Now, you may be called like um, the Jesus freak or something like that among the people at your job or the people in your family. But this is so important that you are the one. You're that divine person that's bringing. You are the, <clears throat> the conduit that Jesus is using in your family. I'm telling you, the reward is going to be so great. No eye can, can even see, no, no mind can imagine what the good Lord has in store for those who love him and serve him. And God's rewards are greater, far greater. And like we've been saying this past week, look at what Jesus did with Joseph. He brought him from prison to second in command. The only thing that separated them was the, the throne, okay? And the only thing that separates you and God
is the throne. That is the only thing. You are representing God on earth. And I want you guys to really know this because as a man thinks in his heart, is so is he. So like when sickness comes, it's an attack of the enemy. This morning, my son said, oh, mom, my throat. And I said, well, we went around people. But you know what we do? Because Jesus lives in us and he paid for us to be healed. We say this. And he didn't want to. And I, he's six. And I said, no, Matthew, we say this. This is what we say because Jesus lives in us. And we don't have to accept this. Okay? It's an attack of the enemy. And so when it comes, it's not yours. You should never say, I have this. I have that. You know, you go ahead and you say any disease or virus that touches my body dies instantly in the name of Jesus. My body's beginning to restore. Your response to these trials, to these tribulations, to these testings and all this stuff, this is where your victory is at. I will, um, I will write my vision and make it plain, write it on the tablets of your heart. And whenever God knows that you framed it in your heart and you've got it in your heart, and that's when it'll come to pass. Suddenly, though it tarries, wait for it. And what is that? Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Do I have it right here, Lord? Help me. Um, so, Lord, we come to you right now, Lord. We come to you in fear and trembling, Lord. We honor you. We worship you. We thank you. You are the most important person in our lives, Lord. We just worship you, and we thank you that when we put you first and we put your kingdom first, that everything else is added unto us, Lord. We thank you that you are building us, that you make sure that we are down to nothing so that, so that we cannot take credit for anything that we become because you are going to suddenly come in and swoop us up out of the the misery out of the the muck in the mire like jeremiah was in the pit of the muck of the mire <clears throat> lord you're gonna swoop us up and so anybody that is at their wits end anybody that is 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 at the bottom that they feel like they just can't dig themselves out it is not too far for you lord you are suddenly god and nothing is impossible for you to restore and we praise you for that we praise you for that, Lord. We give you all the glory, all the glory. And that's why you do it, so that we can't be puffed up and prideful and arrogant and conceited, Lord. And we thank you that, that you love the humble. We thank you that you love the meek and the lowly and the poor in spirit, Father, and the contrite. We thank you, Lord, that we will prevail, that your goodness and your mercy and your truth is going to prevail over all the evil and all the wickedness among this earth, Lord, that we have power over the prince of the air and that we see that we're not in darkness. We thank you, Lord, for the souls that we are going to bring out of great darkness, Lord. We thank you that nobody is too far gone for restoration, Lord. We thank you that our families will be saved. We thank you that you are going to build us up so much that we'll, have, we'll be able to leave an inheritance for generations and generations and generations, Lord. That a good man, a good woman is able to leave things to generations, great, great grandchildren, that our families will never know that we saw lack. Our families will We'll never know we saw poverty our families would never know that we saw anything harsh or any kind of famine lord any sickness in the name of jesus we thank you lord that you are building us up to build our families up we thank you you're building us up to bring us to people lord so that we can we can sympathize and empathize with them we thank you, Jesus. We thank you for strengthening us by the power of your spirit that we have the comfort of the advocate, the adversary that helps us through every single situation. We thank you that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Thank you, Lord, that, that our faith don't rest on man's wise and persuasive words, but on a demonstration of your power. And may every person witness your mighty power tonight, Lord, your tangible presence. And may they get years of insight, foresight, wisdom, knowledge. May, they, may their dreams be stirred. May their visions be stirred. May their spiritual gifts be stirred. And may they be more and more conformed into the image of Christ, which they were predestined from the foundation of the earth to do, Lord. We thank you that you loved us first. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. So, guys, get your communion elements. Get your communion elements. I want to do that. I want to do that. It's so important that we know who we are and whose we are. And we are symbolic people. Think of Elijah throwing the, the salt in that bitter 
river and or stream and so many so many symbols and tokens in the bible the oil as a symbol of the holy spirit i went around my family today we had them over and we had steak okay i'm trying to be all things to all people i don't want god to look down here and see me looking anything like the people of the world I, but i don't want to be weird i want to be spirit led and i'm just going to be honest with you guys i'm not gonna god can't bless who we pretend to be you know <clears throat> one time i was i was telling i've always been told i'm too i'm too forward i tell people too much of my business well god i was in the kitchen one day and god said i made you that way I made you that way so it's it's a benefit for his kingdom it's a benefit to the people who are broken and and they need that they need that honesty they need that person who who's being honest with them so so always be honest don't worry about what what anybody thinks only worry about what God thinks but my family started fussing the devil's prowling guys he's prowling so the kids the boys I have my 24 year old my 22 year old my 21 year old two girls and a boy Rebecca, Daniel, and Jacob, and Daniel, Elizabeth. And then I had Matthew, Jeremiah. I Amen. We're not pilgrims. Amen. Amen. We had steak, but still we had the family over. So I told my husband, I was like, it's still like we're, you're doing it. But everybody's off from work and stuff. So it's still kind of like you're doing it. We don't, people say happy Thanksgiving. You say, you too, or God bless you, or whatever, you know, but you got to be graceful, and you don't want to be like a weirdo. Did you do it? <laughs> do you do it? But I don't want to be eating turkey when the rest of the world is eating turkey. You know, whenever they go on sale, we'll have some turkey or something in a week or two. Um, <clears throat> I know Prophet Lovey does it. He does it, and he hasn't been convicted by it, but that's, a, that's within you and the Holy Spirit. God doesn't want us to be led by the laws and the traditions and the religion, he wants us to be led by the spirit. That's why it's so important, especially with like people in donations, right? Cause I have all of these orphanages re reaching out to me and um, <clears throat> I can't help them all. And, um, and some of them may not even be orphanages, but I don't need to be like that, but I still have to be careful. So I have to be led of the spirit in my giving as well. You know, you do, you have to, because boy, they'll, they'll just really, once they get, they just really, and they start telling you what they're building and they're doing this and that, and you got to be careful not to have any thoughts that are wrong. You got to be purifying your mind, cleansing your mind, but God knew we were going to go through all of this, right? So he knows that is preparing us because there are going to be levels of heaven. Okay, Prophet Levy said there's going to be people up there that have so many spiritual babies. This is my words. Um, spiritual babies, you know, like you've, you've won so many souls that you're, they're going to be saluting you and stuff like that, which I don't care about that. But he also said that there's going to be people up there that are studying their Bible, and he's been. So um, <clears throat> he's been to, the, to heaven and to hell. He's, He's told stories about it, and I believe him. I fully believe him because of the understanding that he has of it. I believe that the Lord has sent him to deliver us from lies. He's the modern-day Moses that is delivering us from deception and lies. But though we all make mistakes, though, we're children of God. We're learning. We might make a mistake and then come back tomorrow and correct it. Amen? Because we're not um, grown-ups of God. We're children of God. So I was asked why I bind um, principalities. And, um, and I was told that Prophet Lovey doesn't do that, but I don't know. I do know a couple of um, deliverance ministers who's taught against that. But we are, amen, amen, Robin. Thank you so much. May yours too as well. Hang out with us and we are gonna, we are gonna get into this and God is gonna bless you. God is gonna bless you tremendously. It is amazing what he has been enlightening me with with so much. So um, so our kids, our kids were fussing and the devil was prowling around. And so I got the oil and I went around the house and started declaring peace. Amen. And that's what you do. That's what you do. You, you, you beat it with prayer. First, I went in my room and I got on my little prayer rug that I used to get down on and I prayed and I said, Lord, and, and I submitted to God. And then I resisted the devil and I told him out of here in Jesus name. He has to flee. He has to. So then <clears throat> I took authority over my kids, my grown up kids and my little kids, my six and nine year old. And then my grown up kids and then my grandson's here and he's in the middle. He's seven or eight. 
So we went in there and I, I anointed everybody with oil. You know, listen, it, and they all, you know, they're like trying to do their thing. And, and, and sometimes, you know, you're persecuted and then it makes you feel bad for your family because Jesus said, they don't worry, they persecuted me because some of my adolescent, my boy, he, he, um, he gets tired of being preached at, you know, he's 20, 21. So he gets tired of being preached at and he tries to watch <clears throat> um, stuff that I don't like. I don't like us watching things because I know our eyes are the windows to our house. And nobody wanted to watch what I wanted to watch. Um, and my daughter, though, my oldest daughter has gotten into Christian rap. And praise God, praise God, it's got some great lyrics. Um, she's going into new realms and dimensions and all of that. But I just, the tune of it is just too much for me. It just seems like it brings, ugh, I don't know. But, um, but God is working. God is working, and we have to trust God. So I was asked why I bind principalities, and I want y'all to know what that means, what that means. So um, our wrestle is not against flesh and blood enemies, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. What are they coming after? They are coming after your, they're enticing you with your lust. The devil's enticing you with your lust. That's it. Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Pride of life. Where you have to be right. Where you have to be seen. Where you have to be heard. Or, or lust like, this is my food. This is my food, and I want it the way I want it. Or the devil, that's the places that he sneaks in, you know. Or um, trying to do witchcraft which is like trying to manipulate somebody or trying to do um a miracle for yourself like jesus turn this stone into bread if if you really are the son of god and and jesus wasn't going to do a miracle for himself that wasn't going to win souls and bring god glory you know so that's what we have to be wise we have to be so wise and we have to understand the gospel and that's what prophet Levi was talking about on sunday the thief and the robber <clears throat> so I want to, I want to bring that up. I want to bring that up. So the thief, we talked about it on Tuesday, <clears throat> sneaks in. The robber and the devil got this from God because nobody knows the day or the hour. And Prophet Levy says he calls him Sneaky Jehovah. And the devil tries to sneak, prowl around, sneaking. And I was trying to explain to my kids that Satan knows your ancestors. And guys, I have such a praise report. My daughter's husband and her <clears throat> are into church so much. Like, I, I think he's starting to make Christian content. And they're, they're really wanting to serve the Lord and go maybe and maybe even him be a preacher. So God is really working. He's transformed their life through through watching mom you know and that's an amazing thing because they used to get so tired of me preaching to them so that gives me encouragement so I was like man I got bummed out about getting people getting tired of hearing me and um, my daughter was like mom you have us guess what we are doing this and we're doing that and and he's and he's trying to make Christian music and guys what a blessing right and they're raising my grandchildren. So it's not just for you. It's for your seed, right? That's what Jesus, uh, the Bible says, I set before you blessing and cursing. Choose this day. Blessing. It's not just for you. It's for your seed as well. So <clears throat> we want our seed to be blessed. There was a king in the Bible who calamity was going to fall upon. King Hezekiah, I believe. Let me see. I got it right here. I looked it up. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, Hezekiah, um, he, he was told that he was gonna fail, but he was glad because his children, it wasn't going to happen until generations after him when he, he was going to lose his kingdom. What kind of father would think like that, right? What kind of father would think? Oh, well, good thing it's not going to happen in my day. And that is what God is raising you up for, for your family, for your children, those orphanages, the great impact if they will teach those children the word of God, 
the word of God. A lot of our mighty men of God have came from third world countries because remember the, the revelation God gave me when I was driving home the other night singing empty and I was asking God about being sent somewhere and God said that he was showing me, he opened up my eyes for a minute and he was showing me that he'll use me here but as soon as something happens and somebody doesn't do something, he'll have to take somebody from over there and bring them over here to, for his will to be done. So <clears throat> Prophet Lovey said this and it, it, it confirmed what I said on the video I played yesterday um, at 2 that God, somebody didn't do their job for God to bring a man from Africa over here and raise him up. Listen, God is the creator of all. He's a creator of all creation. I saw a video of a lady who was at her wit's end carrying these bags, and I think she maybe was holiday shopping, and it's still in those scrolls and the rolls of shorts because it popped up again, and I sent it to my husband. And she got to her door, and there was a cookie with some red icing on it on her door, on like the, the brick there, and she it cheered her up. After looking back on the doorbell camera, it was a squirrel that left that cookie there, and she needed it. She was dropping by this big bag, no telling. She maybe was moving or something, and she really needed that. And so God, if he can't, he, he will get a donkey to speak, okay? God, there's nothing God can't do, and he's shown us that through his word, and he will do it for his for his glory, for his purposes. So wherever God wants you is better than what you think. Whatever God wants you to do, whatever God wants you to be, it's better than what you think. So the trick is, is to get in God's order, to get in God's symphony, to get in God's orchestra, that he's created this orchestra of life predestined from the foundation of the earth to be conformed into the image of the sun. That's why it says, seek first the kingdom of God. I told my son-in-law, I said, seek first the kingdom. He's a sponge. He's such an amazing sponge. He listens to me. I said, seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you. God, you know, God wants to get the credit. So whenever he starts, he builds us from nothing. That way we're built on the rock, on Christ, the solid rock. Amen. That way you can't take, if you do anything yourself, you might try to take credit for it. So God builds you from a, from nothing. Isn't that amazing? So um, King Hezekiah was glad that his, his, um, his kids, it wasn't going to happen. The desolation of his kingdom was not going to happen. And I implore you, go and read about that. And you'll start to see things. And that's what God's doing. And then after we got back from my daughter's, my 21 year old boy, he was um, going through things, you know, trying to grow up and everything for a while from the time he turned 18 and now he's settled back down. But <clears throat> God was showing me, I was in the laundry room folding his pants last night and um, God opened my eyes to his restoration, to, to seeing him fully serving God and I just began to cry. I just began to cry. God was just loving on me. He was just loving on me. It was so amazing, guys. And those moments, those moments are worth any, nothing else can compare. Absolutely nothing can compare to those moments <clears throat> that we have with God. So I want you guys to be serious. Like, this is your so important. We get, it's appointed unto man once to die and then to be judged. And... This is our time to get to know the Lord. So seek first the kingdom of God and ask the Lord. If you don't have a hunger for his word, ask him and he will give it to you. You know, I started praying for a hunger for his word in 2010. I didn't have a desire for it. <clears throat> and at Faith Farm, we had to read the Bible in the morning and at night. And we could only read Christian books. And we had to serve and learn how to go up in ranking and all of this. It was a, like a Christian Bible school. And God just began to give me hunger, although I didn't understand it. But I'm telling you, if you will keep at it, the, the blinders will come off. The blinders will come off and it'll just, it just, it's amazing. That stuff's alive.
that word is alive. So <clears throat> King Hezekiah is a it, he's seen God's miraculous deliverances. He escaped from Sennacherib's to twenty five. 100,000, 250,000 strong army without a single casualty, a battle military history, and he calls it the most in, um, most important battle, William McNeil calls this the most important battle that never happened. The conclusion of his life gives us a picture of a man utterly consumed with himself, and the end gives us both a warning and a promise. So I implore you, it's in 2 Kings 20, 2 Kings 19 and 20. So <clears throat> be a good man. The Lord has left us. We are stewards. We are stewards. We are to live. We're to love. We're to steward what the manifest grace that God has given us, the manifold grace that God has given us. We are stewards of it. So God has made us stewards over everything. If you've got somebody that you're over, most people have somebody they're submitted under and somebody that they're also over, whether it be children, pets, um, anything, anything in your, in the way that we operate with other people is the main way we, we humble ourselves before God. We humble ourselves under his mighty hand by humbling ourselves and letting them be right. By apologizing, even if we're right. By being that light in the darkness. By being the love they've never seen. By getting yelled at, cursed at, and never doing it back. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's going to take that desire completely out of you. It's amazing. to And you, you, you start to feel bad for them. When you see them get upset and say a word that is, is detrimental to themselves. Whenever this is faith. This is faith. We know that the world was framed through faith, through the word of God. The world was framed through the word of God. Let's look up that scripture. The world was framed from the word of God. Let's look that scripture up. <clears throat> through faith we understand the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear Hebrews 11 3 and this is the faith hall of fame that that whole chapter right there remember the chapters and the verses were never there in the original writing so read it in thoughts go through it and read it in thoughts take those out in your mind and go through it and read it in thoughts read read sections of what's happening that way you can meditate on that that group of words that that incident whatever it may be whether it's about faith and everyone who lived by faith you know god has a way of blessing those who live by faith amen william willie Amen. You're in Mississippi. Praise God. Praise God. Well, we, the angel of the Lord is there with you right now. The angel of the Lord encamps those who fear God. The angel of the Lord encamps those who fear God. And Zechariah 6 talks about God's mighty angels. E Ezekiel talks about God's mighty angels. Isaiah told um, God Father, open his eyes that he may see that there's more with us than there are with them. And, and Elijah, no, Elijah, Elijah, and Elijah got to see the myriads of angels among them. And remember, Jesus said, if I wanted to right now, I could pray to my father and he could, and, and I could put the angels on you and they were coming to take him in the garden. Jesus knew of his angelic assistance. And Hebrews 1 talks about you have ministering spirits sent to serve those who inherit salvation. So we need to be aware of what we have. What we have, we have angels. We have the Holy Spirit. We're the house of God. He made an earnest down payment on us, and he moved in. He moved in. His down payment was himself. He came as a man. He, the word was made flesh, dwelt among us. He knew no sin that we might become his righteousness. So we are righteous in Christ. And so now we need to straighten up our knees and walk straight. Hebrews, Hebrews 12, 13 or 13, 12. And so that the sick may re recover and the lame will be healed through you, 
They're you. You're going to do exploits. Dale, um, Daniel said, those that know their God will do exploits. Exploits. Mark 16, 17, tongues are for everybody. Those who have faith will speak in new tongues, cast out demons, preach the gospel, heal the sick. They can trample on snakes and scorpions. That's spiritual. That's, that's the devil. That's what it's talking about, the different levels of demons. And, 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 and nothing shall by any means harm them. Drink deadly poison. That means if somebody tries to hurt you, you will never die. You're eternal now. You're, you're immortal. You're, listen, everybody's soul is immortal. Everybody's soul is immortal. So the Holy Spirit is there with you, Willie. God has delivered people in other countries on this live stream. Just They call in. You guys can call in and get prayed with. Um, I can paste a link in the chat, and you guys can call in and be right here. Or if you're shy, you can be down here. Um, <clears throat> or you can just be audio. If if Guys, if you have a dream that you think that <clears throat> you don't want everybody to know that it's you because somebody might try to come and stop that from happening, maybe an evil person or something, just call audio. Don't give it permission for your video. Don't disclose who you are, and I can help you interpret that dream by the Spirit of God and and you'll still be safe you know i was thinking about that <clears throat> about and about how the enemy uses people to try to stop dreams from coming to pass you know how he killed all the babies when moses was born and then when jesus was born he was trying to stop that from happening god's plan so if you think that you have a dream or something that you need to keep ask god you know and and we will just have you on in audio and you can share the dream, and then we will, we will pray, and the Holy Spirit will give us the interpretation. God has told me to do this, so we are doing it. God will give us, give us what we need. He's never made us go. There's no such thing as blind faith. He says, reason with me. Come reason with me. Let us reason together. So we don't have to go blind. Praise God. We don't have to go blind. So um, <clears throat> King Hezekiah didn't care about his own family after him. So God wants us to be... <clears throat> the good man of the house. So you're going to be the good man of your house. The Holy Spirit is there with you. Oh, back to that. Brooding over the face of the waters. You are the vault of heaven. God is in everything that we have. In him we move. In him we breathe. In him we have our very being. So if you need prayer for anything, God will touch you right where you're at. Guys, he's with you just as much as he's with me. Okay, Victoria. Um, <clears throat> he's with all of us. So I want you guys, you gotta, you need, Jesus always asked them, um, do you believe? And as soon as they said, yeah, guess what? He said, your faith has made you well. It wasn't their praying. It wasn't their praying. So it's important. <clears throat> oh, what did I push? My drink. My drink's clogged. I made me an iced coffee and it's clogged up. But um, so God is good. He's good and he can't. He wants to take care of his people. Amen. 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 The perfect will of God. The perfect will of God. You're going to find that. And so I want to share <clears throat> this with you guys. This is out of Soul Winner by Charles Spurgeon, written in the 1800s. So for my divinity school, um, I'm doing this. I'm almost through with it. And I was reading this on the way home last night to my family. It says, when God gives a new nature to his people, the life which comes out of that new nature springs spontaneously from it. The man who has a religion which is not part of a parcel of himself by and by discover that it is worse than worse than useless to him the man who wears a devotion to god like a mask at a carnival so that when he gets home he changes from saint to savage from angel to devil from john to judas from benefactor to bully such a man i say knows very well what formalism and hypocrisy can do for him and that means the style of tradition and false claims of character. So formalism is like a style 
<clears throat> of tradition like like the Pharisees were. They were nice in front of people, but whenever they got home with their families, they were rude to their wives, they were mean to their children, they were mean to their dog, they yelled in their faces, they were they were not taking the character of Christ over with them. And it's you co-laboring with the Holy Spirit. So it takes you building a relationship with God. Because <clears throat> when the good man, um, when 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 a, a devil a wicked spirit is cast out that's not the beginning of deliverance right deliverance happens when you're anchored in the truth and in the word of god so um when the when the spirit is cast out he goes and finds more seven more more wicked than himself and he comes back and he that man's worse than before if he finds it swept clean so a lot of people go to deliverance after to deliverance deliverance because they clean the house outside the cup they get set free and then they never fill it with god they never fill it with the word through the scripture and they never begin to try to put that old man off those cussing they might put it off when they're with the church folks and then whenever they get <clears throat> they get around um people that are cool they they're not persecuted for jesus anymore they go and act like them they're like an indecisive man who's unstable in all his ways what victoria we gotta watch a video i looked for your message the other night i looked for your message sister i don't think you messaged me that night i gotta check it again but um <clears throat> I don't know why. You must have a firewall protection or something. What kind of phone do you have? Do you have an iPhone or what? Do you have Google or um, or Windows? I think everybody else has always been able to do it, except for that one time my husband couldn't. So um, let me know. Let me know. Email me. Is it email down there? There's the the um, website. <clears throat> um. So the wicked spirit goes and finds that house kept clean, kept swept clean. So good, they didn't put God in it. God is godly character. You receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your, your soul. God, um, you are trying to put off that old, the old mannerisms, the old character defects, the old unforgiveness, bitterness, wrath, strife, all of that stuff. You start to put that off. You ask the Holy Spirit, put a guard at the door of my lips so I don't sin against you, Lord. That's why fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. That's why the angel of the Lord encamps those who fear God. See, but some people... They're, they're a church guy in front of church, and then when they get with their cussing buddies, they're cussing, and that is an abomination to God. That is, God is going to spit them people out, and so we pray for them because they're under the deception of the prince of the power of the air because they obviously don't believe that God is watching them. They obviously don't believe, and Jesus said this about them, the ones who were doing that in his day. He said, all they're going to get is the sign of Jonah. All they wanted a sign, like say, say your husband's gone on a trip and you are, <clears throat> you're having an affair or something. Well, you tell him, call me before you come home because you want a sign that he's coming home because you're doing something wrong. That's what they want. They want a sign. And so they're not going to get a sign. They're going to get the sign of Jonah. So um, God god sees everything that we're doing and we still have to god knows we cannot be bitter against them they're under the prince of the power of the air their faith is weak their faith is weak god literally told me i'm using them to teach you guys and it's never been more real than it has been this week he has been illuminating situation after situation with this of how he's using them to teach me praise god Praise God. Where are you from, Cac? Where are you from? So, um, yes, praise God. Papa is is flying around. He wants to get, he's trying to get an airplane so he can do more. And that's important, guys. He does need one. He does need one. The children of God need to be blessed more than the children of this world. God owns all of this. We're stewards of it. There's There's a difference between using it for your glory, using it for your own purposes, using it just because you worship it. You know, there are people who, <clears throat> that's all they want. They store up store up riches for themselves, and they're going to answer to God for it. 
So um, you don't ever feel jealous of those people or anything. Seek first the kingdom of God. You adorn, adorn your inner man and God will adorn you. It might, you might go through a test. You might go through a season if when you're down to nothing because God wants to build you up from nothingness. That way he gets all the glory and you completely rely on him and nobody else. Nobody else. God wants your reliance on him. So those wicked spirits, they come back in on people who don't get in their word, who don't begin to change. That's like the ones that Paul went to and said, by now you should be eating meat, but I have to preach. I have to preach to you guys milk. You, you, um, you guys are arguing and having disputes. That's how I can tell you're not spiritual. That's how I can tell because you're worried about your own selfish, selfish stuff. Anyone who is spiritual can tell when somebody's not just by the words that they speak because out of the heart, the mouth speaks. Out of the good stored up comes good. Out of the evil stored up comes evil. Listen, I don't care who you are. What you watch is going to change your perception of things, even if it's one movie. One movie. I'm telling you, be careful what you put in your body. It's just like eating fudge rounds before dinner. You won't be having appetite for the good stuff. And it's going to make you who you are. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. And that is the only thing that we really have a choice of is what we're going to... Blessings and cursings are laid before us. Choose. Choose. Are you going to choose this road? Wide is the road that leads to destruction. Narrow is the path that leads to God if you find it. So, so choose God's way. It's better for you. I, I'm telling you, the Lord promises us 7,487 promises. <clears throat> Amen. Yes, Kat, that, Kat, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. So, um, <clears throat> they go from angel to devil, from John to Judas, from benefactor to bully. Such a man, say, knows very well what formalism and hypocrisy can do for him. He has no vestige. Oh, true religion. Fig trees do not bear figs on certain days and thorns at other time, but they are true to their nature in all seasons. So they're not doing anything for God. I spoke to this lady who had an uncle who was a deacon of a church, and I had witnessed to her, and she accepted a Bible from me because I like to give Bibles out. But <clears throat> And she's, she was pretty serious about reading it, but she didn't like her uncle's um witness because he would go home and act and start sitting back in his chair and turned into a different person than he was out there in front of the people at church and God says you better be hot or cold either way you'd rather off just you, those who aren't with us are against us okay you those who aren't gathering are scattering scattering there's no middle ground there's no neutral ground either you're you're praying prayers um for the body of the believers or you're praying some kind of prayer like find my car keys help me do this buy me a house lord and those prayers aren't even heard by god and jesus said is this the fast or god said is this a fast that i ordained for you guys to to go on a fast and oppress the poor and be mean to people no that's not what God wants. What God wants, he's more worried about you loving your brother than you sitting down at dinner saying grace. Yeah, amen? You know what I mean? Like people want to get out and say, oh, let's get in a fight about saying, saying the blessing before dinner. No, 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 no. Don't be religious about it. Listen, the Lord Jesus gave thanks as they took of the bread, right? So um, God cares more about the way we're treating one another with love, with love. So it's so important that we walk in love. That we walk in love. God cannot bless us if we're not walking in love. That's how they will know us, by our love for one another. And for the most unlovable creature there is. And so Jesus is going to take out your heart of stone, give you a heart of flesh. All you got to do is just begin to ask the Holy Spirit. Co-labor with the Holy Spirit on a daily basis. Ask in the Holy Spirit. Good morning, Holy Spirit. What are we going to do today? What are we doing today? Let's do it. Let's do the will of the Father in heaven who sent me here. I'm on an assignment for the Lord. Father, I know you're going to give me all the provision I need to do your will. And I thank you that you give me help to do it. I thank you that by his stripes I am healed. And and you you are either fighting the good fight or you're not fighting at all and you're working against God. You listen, in a family, okay, think of all the members in a family. Say if one is a bad apple, it's okay, say a 20-year-old uh adolescent son of a family is acting up 
the the younger kids are going to see him and they're going to think it's okay to act up. So important that all the family members are in their own roles of serving the Lord, acting kind, loving one another. Because when one is a bad seed, look, you're going to have to answer to God. That's why the master better not come back and find you abusing your position. Because we all have this wonderful position that God has put us in. And yes, seasons change, positions change, ranking goes up or down, up or down. And God wants to move you up. God wants to move you up, so each time you turn the other cheek, it's a test, and your ranking goes up. Your ranking goes up. Praise God. So you turn the other cheek. You calm. You stay calm. You respond. You don't react. And revival starts coming in your home. The people see you, and they say, wow, she used to have a temper, but now she seems so peaceful. The Bible says a man who can rule his spirit can take a city. He can take a whole city. That's, that's big. That's big there. You can take a whole city. The spirit of the man is the candle of the Lord searching all the inward parts of your belly, you know, so you, you know where to go. You know what to do. It's amazing. Oh no, Victoria, man, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I bind those phone issues and I command them to stop anything trying to stop God or block God or hinder God for Victoria right now in her phone. I command it to stop in Jesus' name and I declare that that phone works right in Jesus' mighty name. No weapon formed against her will prosper in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. So I love this, um, this book. It took a while to get into it because it was written in the 1800s and his the way that he talks, but he says those that think that godliness is a matter of vestment and has a intimate relationship with blue and scarlet and fine linen are consistent if they keep their religion to the proper time for the wearing of their sacred pompsies. But he who has discovered what Christianity is knows that it is more than a life than it's more of a life than an act, a form or a profession. Much as I love the creed of Christodom, I am ready to say that a cru true Christian is far more than a life, <clears throat> far more a life than a creed. A creed, it is a creed and it has ceremonies, but it is mainly a life. It is a divine spark of heaven's own flame which falls into the human bosom and burns within, consuming much that lies hidden in the soul. And then at last, as a heavenly life flaming forth so as to be seen and felt by those around under the indwelling power of the Holy Spirit is to be seen and felt by those around you. It's not just a cloak you wear. That's what it was talking about, that word. Uh, um, what was that word? Well, pomp sees. A lack of style and of good taste so it's not like a linen that you're wearing it it's a way that you you become you know the Pharisees clean the outside of the cup so we want to be a good man when the Lord comes back and finds us where we've been put over the vineyard we've been put over the master's possessions he's given us talents what are we gonna do are we gonna see God wrongly and bury him he's had the wrong fear there is a godly fear and there's a wrong fear. There's a sinful fear. There's a sinful fear like, oh, God's coming after me. That's sinful. That's the man who buried his talents. He said, I know you sow, what you reap where you don't sow. I know you're a hard man. So I hid my talents. He saw God all wrong. And that's important that we bring the true Jesus to people. So if we are false Christians, we're hypocrites then then they're going to see God wrong. And we don't want that. We don't want that because then we're working against our king. And we're of no use to God. And we're operating in witchcraft and sorcery and all kind of stuff and don't even know it. And don't even know it. That's why it's called darkness. That's why great darkness is covering the earth. That's what that means. Everybody thinks that we're going to have three days of darkness. Well, we might. But what it's talking about is darkness. The people are in great darkness. Just like a woman um, shouldn't preach that attack. Well, the Holy Spirit is the same for Jew, Greek, slave, free, male, female. 
right? Well, if we stop a woman, we're stopping a side of God because God has so many faucets, right? Because we can't figure him out because he has so many. He's infinite, okay? So we can't stop a woman. Well, it says to be a submitted and if you cover your head, well, your covering is those who are in authority over you. Are you submitted under authority? That's what that's talking about. People take it out of context that you're supposed to go like this and, and do this, you know? And I thought that too. So I really studied, guys. I studied it. I studied it. And praise God for Prophet Lovey confirming things um, in your mind and things that you have questions about. Because it takes a pure heart to see God. It does. It takes a pure heart to, to understand the Lord and to see God. And you have to keep your mind clean. That's why you every time that you watch something that's impure, unclean, that if there's not, not any virtue, if there's not any praise, you're messing yourself up from hearing from God. Each time you eat too much rice, you eat too much potatoes, you stopped yourself from, from remembering that dream that God was giving you about what's happening, what God wants you to do tomorrow. You know, people say, oh, this is deja vu. No, God sent you a dream. When you get to heaven, you're going to realize that God, God's going to say, I didn't let you go blind. I showed it to you. And you're going to say, when? And you're going to say, oh, oh, I, I drank some wine that night and went to bed. And, and I missed the Lord because the devil was prowling around and he tricked me. Or I, I picked out, I ate a whole gallon of ice cream because I was sad because the devil had been picking on me because he knew my blessing was coming. And then I slept through my dream. You know, that's when the Lord came to see Jacob. He came to see um, Solomon in his dream. I mean, the Lord, it, Samuel was sleeping and the Lord kept calling him and he thought it was Eli. So God, listen, I was doing laundry. You got to stay in the spirit. And the Lord visited me in my laundry room about my son. Just gave me peace and everything, you know. That's what we need to be praying for, not peace on earth. Peace on earth is not going to happen till the king of peace is here. And peace won't happen in those unbelievers or those hypocrites as well until the king is in them. They're not going to have peace. So we have to give them grace, okay, because we too were once blind. But now we see, praise God. So we have to give them grace. We cannot hold it against them. Satan's going to have you thinking, Oh, look what they did to you. They wronged you. They were so mean. They cursed you. Look, they're trying to instigate you. They may get up in your face. The Holy Spirit, the more you do it, the more stronger the Spirit gets within you. To not even, it doesn't even bother you. You only care about what the Lord thinks. Listen, when you wash your dishes unto God, when you get up and speak to God, when you start serving the Lord like this, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. And you become a better mama. You become a better husband. You become a better wife because you have Jesus. Okay, character is everything. You are made in the image of God because you have his virtue and his character. That's what he's he's conforming you into his image. You're metamorphosing, you're you're transcending on the mount of, of configuration. And that's why those spirits say, Too much light, too much light, because you are light to the darkness. So some of that is those spirits that are in them that are manifesting. They're manifesting and they're throwing a fit because they know their time is short, right? They know that the Lord is going to win and their time is short and they're about to be homeless. Out of your family member, they're going to be out of your loved one and your loved one's going to be serving God because it only takes one second for God to restore somebody. It only takes one second for God to take the, the worst um, Pharisee of Pharisees, Saul, and turn him into Paul. And God will do it. God will do it. You don't stop praying. You don't quit. You don't give up. You don't cave in. Amen. Amen, Willie. Do you want to come on and share? Do you want to share your testimony or anything about yourself or be prayed with? You can hit this link. Hit this link and you can come in and share. Here, I'll paste it again. Victoria, I don't know why. Um, Praise God. I'm glad your phone is. Is your phone working now? Any shields? 
Y'all want to pray for Annie, y'all? Let's pray for Annie. Father, right now we come to you in the name of Jesus for Sister Annie, Lord, for this woman of God. Lord, you know her. She's your daughter. You know every hair on her head. Father, if sickness has attacked her body, we just declare right now that every infirmity is bound in the name of Jesus, and we command it out of her body in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever she is in the four corners of the earth, may the angels of God sweep her home, removing all darkness in Jesus' name. May the Holy Spirit begin to just start restoration in that body as Jesus is so is she every cell every organ every ligament will function to the perfection of Jesus Christ everyone y'all have communion ready Willie take communion with your mom take communion with your mom this is dinner with God this is this seals the covenant this is you being one with Christ and one with the church one with the brethren we need to be thinking right. We need to be thinking right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I declare that her strength will last her days in Jesus' name. I declare that her strength will last her days. That every day that she lives, she will have joy and she will have strength now in Jesus' name. That her mind is restored and she has the mind of Christ. And she has a hunger for your word, Lord. The Bible says to do this as often as we can remembrance of the Lord Jesus. <clears throat> as Jesus was being betrayed on um, right before he went on the cross, as he was being betrayed, he had the last supper with the apostles. And he washed Judas' feet as Judas was betraying him. To show us and that we need to be washing, loving, and we need to be washing in the word. Jesus told Peter, he got to Peter and Peter said, no, you can't wash my feet, Rabbi. And Jesus said, unless I do this, you're not mine. And John 1, 1 says, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. The word has to wash you. You have to wash in the word of God. <clears throat> Um, Ephesians 5, 25 and 26. You, and then um, Psalms 119, 9. How can a good man cleanse his way? By washing in the water of the word. Washing in the water of the word. So I'm looking for a scripture. I printed it out and brought it to my, my children's house. Let's see. have it in there darn it I got it in my it's a beautiful scripture guys it gets my it gets me teary every time that I read it but it's the communion scripture Lord we thank you God we thank you, Jesus. Father, just one encounter with you changes everything. One encounter with you changes everything. The Last Supper in the Bible. Thank you, Lord, that, that each and every religions. person is having an encounter with you tonight. And from us getting together in unity and one accord, Lord, that we will have an encounter with you that will, that will change us forever, that will give us direction in life, that will help us to know where we're going and what we're doing. Guys, get your elements. <clears throat> it says, um, this is Matthew 26, 17. <clears throat> On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat Passover. He replied, Go into the city a certain to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time is near. I am going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus directed them and prepared the Passover. I believe he was holding a water jar. This is an NIV version. <clears throat> I like the... Let's go to New King James. So he said, go to a certain man and say to him, my time 
the teacher says, my time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at your house on my disciples. So this man that, that Jesus knew about was, was in a relationship with God to provide this home. There were over 10 different homes provided for Jesus in his ministry. Isn't that amazing? Praise God, Victoria. Do you have your elements? We're going to take communion. You are one with God in Christ. You are one with God in Christ, and, and, and you are the benefactor of a covenant which is kept by the blood of Jesus, which speaks of better things. It, God used to speak to Moses through the blood that was on the, the mercy seat, the blood that was sitting there on that ark, all pure gold. It represents the divinity of God, which you are now the ark of the covenant. You are now the vault of God. Jesus said, when people come telling you the kingdom of God is over here, over there, don't believe them. The kingdom of God is within you. It's within you. And so God can bring you from nowhere, absolutely nowhere. It's a, it's a part of his plan. He's going to take what the devil has meant for harm. He's going to turn it for good. And all you need is faith of a mustard seed. All you need is faith of a mustard seed. So we're going to skip down. It says when the evening, this is verse 20, 26, 20. When evening had come, he sat down with the 12. Now as they were eating, he said, Assuredly, I say to you, this is in New King James. I say to you, one of you will betray me. And they were exceedingly sorrowful. And each of them began to say, Lord, is it I? Holy Spirit, we thank you for opening our eyes as we read your scriptures. Thank you, Lord. He answered and said, He who dipped his hand with me in the dish will betray me. Son of man indeed goes just as it is written of him. But woe to that man whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been good for that man if he had not been born. Then Judas, who was betraying him, answered and said, Rabbi, is it I? He said to him, You have said it. So now Jesus is instituting the Lord's Supper. As they were eating, Jesus took the bread, blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body. When God came, the three men came to Abraham in, in Genesis 18. The, the three angels like came to Abraham to make the covenant of the promised child, Isaac, with Abraham and Sarah. What did they do? They fixed bread and they washed his feet. Okay? So this is so important. And this is give, forgive everybody that has ever wronged you. Act your way into doing it. The Holy Spirit will help you come along with the feeling. The Holy Spirit is going to, as you're obedient to God in action, in response, the Holy Spirit will come and give you the feelings that you need, that, that God needs you to have for these people to love his sheep, even the unlovable. So you are little Jesuses on earth, literally. You are the hands and feet of God. So he said, take either this, this is my body, which was broken for you. So he, they took of the bread and they all broke it and took of the bread. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We forgive everybody. May we find your will and your purpose for our life. We thank you for what you did for us. We thank you, Lord. And then he took of the cup and he gave it. He gave thanks and he gave it to them. He, saying, he said, drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of, of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. So they took of his cup, and Jesus is having the last supper with them. And guys, just picture what he did for you on that cross, for you to be healed, for you to be set free, for you to be delivered, for you to be made new, made into the image of Christ, for you to transcend like he did on that mountain of transfiguration. And this, your blood and your mother's blood, Willie, whenever you drink of this by faith, healing, and life, and joy and peace and oneness with Christ begins to happen. We are symbolic people. So, Lord, we thank you for your blood that was shed for the ransom of many. We thank you that you made an earnest down payment on our, our temples. Now, when now we are the temple of the Lord. We thank you that every disease, every sickness that touches our body dies instantly. 
and that our bodies are beginning to be restored. We're going to go back to the gym. We're going to start eating right. We're going to do what we need to do because we're soldiers of Christ. And the church is not a place for us to be comfortable. It's not a motel or a coffee shop. It is a place to train up soldiers, Lord. And we thank you that eyes are being opened, that we are no longer in Delilah's lap. And we take of your blood, Lord, and we worship you and we honor you for everything you've done for us. Take of it. And that's the blood of Jesus running through your veins. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You can do the will of God, the impossible will of God. He's putting his super with your natural and you're now supernatural. And you live by faith and not by sight. The worlds were framed by the word of God. What we don't see came, what we see came from what you cannot see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then he went on to say, But I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. So we're going to go to the marriage supper of lambs. And every time that God, they had dinner, in the Bible, it was to seal a covenant. Jacob had dinner with Laban, Uncle Laban, to seal a covenant. God had dinner with Abraham to seal a covenant before he went over to Sodom and Gomorrah and destroyed it. Okay? Lot's righteous soul was vexed from living around all of that stuff and watching it in Sodom and Gomorrah. From watching the stuff that he saw. It vexed his soul. When you're around people and they begin to gossip, they begin to slander, it vexes your soul if you don't stand up. Praise God, JK. God bless you. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's your day? How's your day? We just did communion. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, so we are going to go to the marriage supper of lambs, not goats. Goats have horns. So we're going to the marriage supper of lambs. So God knew we were in the darkness. God knew that there was unjust all around us, that the seed of Abraham would be with the seed of the serpent. Okay? So we have to get in our word. We got to fill ourselves with the word of God because when seven more spirits come back, they are locked out from us washing in the water of the word of God, not baptism. Baptism is another symbol of us dying and resurrecting with Christ. We're, unless a seed falls into the ground and dies, it cannot bear fruit. It cannot grow, it grow up into a wheat plant. That's what Jesus told the disciples as he was going on the cross. So when the enemy comes back, and that house is clean, and the steward's not a good man, that's when the demons come back in them. And that's when you see them at deliverance, deliverance, deliverance. That's whenever we need to get on here, we need to get in our word, we need to get some accountability partner, and we need to be serious and start in prayer with the Holy Spirit leading you into all truth. If you want to go to a counselor, to if you've been hurt, betrayed, go to a Christian counselor. But that's so important. There's so many um, brethren that are doing this, that are doing this now. Let me fix this. There are so many brethren that are doing this now that are getting on here that are, that are, are having things that they are speaking about, console, um, consoling one another, and you guys can, can come on and be consoled. And if you, if you need to reach out to me in the email, you can. If you've been betrayed and you need help with that, we can pray with you. That's why we're here. And God can restore you and help you get over that betrayal. If you're having like an anger or rage issue, we can get that spirit out of you. The Bible says to be angry and do not sin. That will stop you from entering into the kingdom of God. This is serious, guys. Don't let the enemy take your soul. It is not worth it. Nothing in this world is worth eternity in that lava. Nothing in this world is worth eternity in the lava. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not pride. Not my ego. None of that. I'll lay down on the floor and kiss your feet before I go in that lava. 
I am not doing it. I am submitted to God. And if it, it may, if I have to turn my other cheek, I'm going to do it. And you too, guys, you don't let nobody get you. That's why Jesus told him that we all need to submit to one another. You know, we need to, it, how good and perfect it is when the brethren dwell together in unity. It's like the beard, the oil flowing down the beard of Aaron. That's why Satan wants to, the oil is the Holy Spirit coming in your home, in your atmosphere. When you fear the Lord, you have angels walking with you. They encamp those who fear the Lord. When you don't, you have the opposite with you. And so then that's when the rage comes and all of that. So the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. And God has paid, paid with his own blood, with his own blood. And I want y'all to think about that too. Um, the enemy has perverted everything that God does. He perverted everything. He's not got any original ideas. Everything is a perversion, perversion of God, what God did. Amen, Victoria. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And so don't, don't despise the small beginnings. Get in your word. I didn't understand it at first. It gets better every day, every single day. <clears throat> um, Zechariah 4.10, who dares despise the day of small things, since the seven eyes of the Lord that range throughout the earth will rejoice when they see the chosen capstone in the hand of Zerubbabel. The, the seven eyes of the Lord are watching Nothing goes unnoticed. And then we also read Zechariah 6. And I want you to go and read that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's see. We'll read it again. Because, guys, that is too good. Let's see. That's a... <clears throat> um, it says, Then I turned and raised my eyes and looked, and behold, four chariots were coming from between two mountains. The mountains were mountains of bronze, with the first chariot red horses, the second chariot black horses, with the third chariot white horses, and with the fourth chariot dappled horses, strong steeds. Then I answered and said to the angel who walked with me, Who are these, my Lord? And the angel answered and said to me, These are the four spirits of heaven who go out from their station before the Lord of all the earth. The one with the black horses is going north to the north country. The white are going after them, and the dappled are going toward the south country. The strong steeds went out eager to go, that they might walk and go to and fro throughout the earth. And he said, Go, walk to and fro throughout the earth. So they walked to and fro throughout the earth, and he called to me and spoke to me, saying, See, those who go toward the north country have given rest to my spirit in the north country. God is watching. The eyes of the Lord are upon you. Habakkuk 2 says, don't despise the day of small, small beginnings. It says, in the Lord, Habakkuk 2, 2 and 3, the Lord answered me and said, write the vision. Where are you writing it? You're writing it right here. You write it down until you've, you've, you will have that thing written on your heart when you're waiting on the Lord. When, when, whatever God, your assignment is from God, you write it down. Whatever you feel you think it is, you start writing it down. Okay? God will help you tweak it or whatever. And it'll come. It'll start on your heart. And you make it plain upon tables that they may, they, that he that may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. And at the end, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. It's on the tablets of your heart. Okay? that It's in there. God is going to give you the heart's desires because these are your true desires, are the desires of your heavenly Father. He put them in you. So purity of heart is so important. So that's why some of us are, we always have to start out in a low place. We always have to start out in a low place because God wants us to know that he built us. We did not build us. God built us. Amen. So um, watch that you don't go back to what you used to be, what you used to do. That's why Jesus kept saying, follow me, sin no more. Don't go and sin no more. Don't go and sin no more because it's dangerous. Amen. 
Don't let the sun go down on that. My boy asked me about a year ago. He said, what does that mean, mama, be angry and do not sin? I said, that means when you're angry, don't hit or kick and don't insult. Don't cut somebody down. Don't try to hurt their feelings. That's just as bad as punching them in the face. Tell them something that's wrong with them. Anything that's not edifying. It's dangerous, brothers and sisters. It's dangerous. You're messing. You got God's watching. But he's also ready to reward you. Now, I'm 2 Chronicles 16, 9 says, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show itself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are loyal to him. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, the oil is the anointing. The anointing, the Holy Spirit, the power of God that lives within you. The kingdom of God is here. It's now. It's it's. It is the power of God operating, the anointing. Different brothers call it different things. They have Brother Benny. He's like, oh, I feel the anointing now. You know, everybody has different things. Prophet Lovey says feelings are for babies. Everybody has their, the Jesus that Paul brought was the same Jesus, but described by Paul and his characteristics than the Jesus that Peter brought, right? It, it. We're going to describe our, our, everybody has their own intimate relationship and it's going to be, it's, it's going to match up, right? But it's going to be different. That's why Paul said, who, who cares if you're Paul's or Apollos's? Y'all are being carnal arguing about this because it's the same spirit, different administrations, different administrations, same spirit, same spirit. So the best thing to do is if when once you've been set free is to get in a, a believing church, a group, um, get in your word, start to transform. Start to transform. You have to co-labor with the Holy Spirit. You put your focus on Jesus. You behold the word of God. And as you're beholding that, you take your eyes off this world. God will do the work in you. He will take out your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. He will write his laws on your heart and in your mind. And you will be his people and he will be your God. He, it's a foolproof plan. But you have to quit um, going after the things you used to go after. Seeking the ambitions you had. It's a change of mind. A repent means I changed my mind. I'm not going after that no more. I'm not going to be a rap singer. I'm going to be a Christian singer. Or maybe I'll, I'll share the gospel. Or maybe, maybe God wants me over here. But I'm changing my mind. I'm not going after those, those earthly lusts of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. I'm going to do what my Father wants me to do. I'm here on assignment. You're changing your mind. So those who think that they can come and still have both, it, that's what Brother... Um, Brother Spurgeon was talking about. They go from <clears throat> John to Judas. They go from angel to demon. And, and the Bible calls it an undecisive man who's unstable in all of his ways. It says, better to tie a millstone around your neck, throw yourself in the ocean, than to cause one of those little ones to stumble. So there are people stumbling because of you whenever you do that right they see you preaching jesus and then you're not acting like jesus well this is a millstone look at this thing what that thing is humongous that is what the donkeys used to pull in circles guys that is a millstone that is a millstone so um everything is going to be so great if you'll just sur submit surrender surrender to the holy spirit and just go after Jesus. Go after Jesus. And and he's came after you. And if you'll stop hardening your heart against him, your life will be in a better place. Because you were created for such a time as this. God has a purpose, a destiny for you. He put talents and gifts in you. But one thing it's going to take, faith. Faith. Me, I was afraid to go live. I was afraid... To um, look people in the eyes. God has gave me a new countenance and a new disposition. He has done so many wonders in my life. So many. Over the past 13 years, I'm not the same person. Not at all. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to come sweep you up and transform you into the image of Jesus. Where those around you will say, wow, surely God lives. 
I don't recognize them. I don't know what kind of creature that is. You know, when you look out the window and it's dark and you see an animal run by and you tell them it was a creature because they can't really tell what you are. And that's what it, what it means. You know, you, you're just a creature, a new creature in Christ. You're a new creature because you're always changing. They can't really tell what you are. But they'll say, surely God lives because they don't recognize you anymore. You're the bride of Christ. You're going to the marriage supper of lambs. You're, you're going to live for eternity on streets of gold in the presence of the Almighty. You're going to rule and reign with Christ in the next life. It is so worth it. It's so worth it. Silver and gold has nothing compared to what we get. The crown with jewels in it to lay at the feet of Jesus. It's going to be amazing, guys. God's rewards are way better than any man could ever give. Way better. It goes on to say in this book, it says, We must take care that our religion is more than a matter of outgrowth from our souls. Many professors are hedged about with you must do this or you must do that. Are you driven inward with? You must do this, you must do that. But there is a doctrine to often perverted with which is nevertheless a blessed truth and ought to dwell in your hearts. You are not under the law, but you are under grace. Hence, you do not obey the will of God because you hope to earn heaven or, a, or dream of escaping divine wrath by your own doings, but because there is a life in which seeks after that which is holy, pure, right, true, and cannot endure that which is evil. You don't like it. You don't like evil things anymore. That's how you know you're saved. You are careful to maintain good works, not from either legal hopes or legal fears, but because there is a holy thing within you, born of God, which seeks according to its nature to do that which is pleasing to God. Look to it more and more that your religion is real, true, natural, vital, not artificial, constrained, superficial, a thing of times, days, places, a fungus produced by excitement. A fermentation generated by meetings, stirred by ordinary public speaking. You know, they're 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 godly in front of these all these crowds speaking godly, but then when they get home, they're they're just a rotten person. They go from Ju John to Judas, and God's gonna spit them out. It's not good for them. So we need to just love them all we can, and 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 pray pray because God can change them immediately. God can change them in a blink of an eye. In the blink of an eye. So pray for their faith. Pray for them to have faith. Give me the godliness which is seen at home, especially around the fireside, for it is never more beautiful than there. That is seen in the battle and the tussle of ordinary business among scoffers and gainsayers, as well as among Christian men. Show me the faith which can deny the lynx eyes of the world and walk fearlessly, where we all scowl with fierce eyes, where where all scowl with fierce eyes of hate, as well as where there are observers to sympathize and friends to judge leniently. May you be filled with the life of the Spirit. And your whole conduct and conversation be natural and blessed outgrowth of that spirit's indwelling. Look to the one who lives within you to live his life through you. Praise God. I feel the anointing now. I feel it. Thank you, Lord. So this is God's desire for us. This is God's desire that we have a good spiritual response. That when the fire is turned up, when the pressure is on, that we are responding spiritually with our word that we're using it in battle the our weapons of warfare are not carnal we don't fight we don't live by the sword we'll die by the sword we don't cut off their ear that's why jesus put that ear back on when peter did that in that garden we live by the word of god that is what we live by our pray our our weapons our praises of paul and silas in the prison Worshiping God, earthquake happened. The chains broke off of their ankles and stuff. Um, prayer, the church, Peter's locked up. They want to behead him like they just did John. And he would have been beheaded, but guess what? The church got together and they prayed. 
a group of a few people, they got together and they prayed in the book of Acts in a house church somewhere in the early Acts church. And they prayed and God sent an angel and the doors popped open as the angel led Peter out of jail. And we all have the word of God from Peter. And Peter went on to do miracles with his shadow. Praise God because of that. Peter, old fisherman that was, that was rough and gruff. So anybody can be restored. God loves everybody. He's not willing that a single one perish. And it takes us to turn their conscience on. Linus, the man at the cross who stabbed Jesus with, the, with that spear in his side. When the blood and the water came out and the church was born. When, you, when blood and water comes out when you're a baby. When you're having a baby, a baby is born. The church was born out of Jesus. As Eve was born out of the first Adam. Out of his rib. Guess what was born out of the second Adam? The church, you, me. Now Jesus lives in us. And we can carry him to everybody around us, pure and undefiled religion, which takes care of the poor and widows, who knows, and the sojourners, who knows that we're one with God in Christ, who knows that we are all one loaf of bread. We're all one loaf of bread. All of us, the whole church, who loves one another, who would never speak against your brother because the fear of the Lord, because you fear the Lord. You know the story of Marion, and, and you fear the Lord. You don't want to disappoint your father. You know he loves them. And God wants to do amazing things in our life, but we stop him when we break these principles. We break these spiritual principles. So be careful to keep them by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Preach Pentecost. Preach Christ crucified. Preach the Lord, the Holy Spirit coming. That's what you preach to people when you preach. And they will be changed. They will be transformed. Amen. Amen. And the Lord's power will come and fall, but it takes faith. It takes faith. Amen. Amen. So, um, <clears throat> you must do this and do that. Do that. There is a doctrine that's perverted. Nevertheless, the blessed truth ought to dwell in your hearts, not under the law, but under grace. Hence, hence you do not obey the will of God because you hope of earning heaven. So, that speaks volumes right there. You do it because it's written in your heart. You do it because it's written in your heart. <clears throat> and you don't, you don't change whenever you're around those who are scor uh, scowling with fierce eyes of hate. And you walk fiercely. You walk not afraid of them. When <clears throat> Peter and them were told after they healed the man, Linus, Linus, hold on, I'll get back to that. The one who stabbed Jesus with that, that spear. He was, he said, surely that was the son of God. And he was, he was converted. He was converted. The man who stabbed Jesus. So guess what? Let them stab you. They can kill the body, but they cannot kill where you're going for all of eternity. They cannot take you. Don't fear man. Fear God. Praise God. Praise God. So what was I saying about the other? Oh, um, when they were healing the man at the beautiful gate and they were told not to speak. In that name of that Jesus fella, no more, under the persecution. They went back, they gathered in the church house, in a, somebody's house, maybe Priscilla or Aquila or one of them, and they <clears throat> prayed. And they said, Lord, look how they're treating us on account of your holy servant Jesus. Give us boldness, boldness and revelation to share your gospel and bring glory to your name. I'm just paraphrasing. And the house shook and the fire fell and they all went out doing amazing signs and wonders. And that's what God wants to do through us. He does. He The 72 should have turned into 140, 100, 280, 3,000, 6,000, 9,000, 12,000, a million, 2 million. You know, you should be multiplying. We should be multiplying. So the church is not a place where we get together and we relax and we are all comfy. The church is like an army barrack. The church is an army barrack where soldiers are trained. It's supposed to be. For war. For war. Because we're just here for a vapor. A blink of time. And then we're going to live in eternity forever and ever and ever. And we will give an account for every word we spoke. And God wants to give us our heart's desires. This is so good. Everything. Look at uh, Joseph. From rags to riches. He went from prison to the second in command. The only thing that separated them was the throne. Moses, a shepherd, had, had committed murder. 
um, trying to, for a good reason though, he had um, a pure heart. He was trying to help his people, but um, <clears throat> to lead in the country, lead in the whole Israelite country out of, in, out of Egypt, leading them out of slavery. Praise God. And then look at um, Daniel and them. They were, God endowed them with wisdom, made them wiser than anybody else. God is going to make you wiser. God is going to give you what you need to do this. God is going to do this. You give your, it, you get what you give. The measure you give is the measure you get back. The measure that you, you meet with all is the measure it's measured back to you. Luke 638, that is not just in money. That is in your study of the word. It's talking about however much you give, it will be given back to you. So in, in your time, in your studies, in you seeking the Lord, are you serious about this? Because it will be back given to you. God will have men given to your bosom, monetarily things, but you will also get wisdom, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of fear of the Lord, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might. These are the seven spirits of the Holy Spirit right here. The, that word counsel means one-on-one -on -one counsel. Praise God. One-on-one. -on -one. He's going to lead you. Write, write your vision down. Make it plain. And then the Lord will begin to write it on your heart. Come together. Talk about it. Oh, come together. Talk about it. And then we will, um, we will begin to know it deep within your, your heart. You will know what God is calling you to do. And you will have days where you will just spend the day so close with the Lord. You will have days he will speak to you. Maybe three words. Maybe he'll ask you a question. Maybe he'll tell you what to do. I've had him say, I won't let you fail. I've had him say, brush your teeth. I've had him say that before. And I've had him say, um, you've got one foot in and one foot out. I've heard him say, it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your fire, Lord. Thank you that you are making us flames of fire and your angels are wind and that your spirit just stirs the flames within us right now in the name of Jesus. That we'll begin to walk in power, walk in love, and we're going to live life to the fullest until it overflows. That every poverty and curse and all of that is broken off by reason of the blood of Jesus. And that we're going to do signs, wonders, and miracles, exploits, because we know you, Lord. You are putting wisdom and knowledge and and gifts, spiritual gifts in us right now in the name of Jesus. Gifts of interpretation, of dreams, gifts of edification now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that they'll be able to give to the third and fourth generations that they will be set because of what you are doing in their lives, Lord. That they're going to be the conduit, the vessel for their family to be never the same, Lord. To never know poverty, to never know, never know lack ever again in the name of Jesus. That they will be able to do your will. They will have the provision and they will have the direction, Lord. May the angels of God encamp them that fear you, Lord. We thank you for that. We thank you for the ministering spirits that sent to serve us who will inherit salvation and those who we love, Lord, that not a single one be lost. We thank you that you are you are plowing up the fallow ground of their hearts right now as you, you're getting us ready to be sent to them whoever we're sent to lord each and every person that we're sent to we pray right now that their hearts will receive your word lord that it will not fall on, on hard stony ground in the name of jesus that you tenderize those hearts that you give them heart of cares lord that the scales come off of their eyes that darkness lifts in the name of jesus Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Whatever has stolen from them, may the angel of the Lord go and bring it back now. That house, that car, that provision, that job, whatever it is, 
that dream, that vision that has been stolen from them right now. May the angels be working to bring that back to them right now. We do not fight with flesh and blood weapons. We do not fight, fight with carnal weapons. We wrestle with, with spiritual weapons, which are the word of God, prayer, fasting, thanksgiving, the sword of the spirit, the word of God. We respond the word of God. We respond by faith. We do not respond in fear. We have a healthy fear of the Lord and the Lord alone. We honor and we submit to those around us to, uh, as to the Lord, as to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We don't worship one another, but we honor one another. We honor our parents with our substance. We are in a position where Christ can bless us. We give. Blessed are those who give. It's more blessed to give than receive. We thank you, Lord, that you are open in our eyes, that we see your ways are not our ways. Your thoughts are not our thoughts. Just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are your ways higher than our ways and your thoughts higher than our thoughts. And may we begin to see that now, Lord. May we, may we walk in faith. May we walk in faith in Jesus' name. May we not fear a single thing. May we split seas. May we heal blind eyes. May we heal deaf ears. May we heal bodies, Lord. And may we take spiritual scales off of eyes. In the name of Jesus, when in many souls, may each and every one of them have many spiritual babies. They will not be barren in the pearly gates. They will not be barren of, of spiritual children. They will have myriads of children that were saved because of their ripple effect in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. The ripple effect that your assignment is going to have on this earth. Paul and Peter are still winning souls, and you will too, long after you're gone. Thank you, Lord. They will not be like King Hezekiah, who did not care about the next generation. Thank you, Lord, that your people care more about the generation after than they do about, they know that they're not going to be there always. They prepare, and the next generation is always better than the people they build up, the people that they raise up is always better. Joshua is stronger than Moses. Elijah is stronger than Elijah, and it will be the same for them. They will raise up people that know more about God because they started where you are. They started where you are in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that their bodies begin to just restore into the image of Jesus, that you begin to transcend and into light in this dark world, and that you have supernatural joy, that nothing bothers you, nothing in Jesus' name, nothing in Jesus' name. A, a Kufa is here, guys. We're going to... Hey, good afternoon. Are you there, Kufa? I didn't see you. I'm sorry. I was praying. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Call back. Call back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God is doing things. The angels of the Lord are going to work right now, guys, on your behalf. This, Your mouth is a pen of a ready writer. Your mouth, you speak the oracles of God. You bring up nations and you tear nations down with your mouth. Amen. You are the generation. You are, Willie. You are, Victoria. You are, JK. You are. You are the next generation. You are walking in power, moving in miracles. We are going to do mighty things for God. It's not just about one person in this end times revival army. God is lifting up men and women of God. And he's going to flood this earth with his glory. Through all of us, guys. Through all of us. Think seven billion people. Jesus couldn't have reached that many people. He said, it's better for you if I go because then the Holy Spirit can come and be with you all. The Spirit of God is with you all as it was at Pentecost. They heard, they got the language of God back, which was, which was, it was stolen at Babel. It was, God came down and confused the language because they were doing the will of the watchers, the fallen watchers. Do the will of God. Put off the old self and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. Don't do things this way, the world's way. Don't be a bully. Be humble, contrite. The king of glory has nail scarred hands. When you think you got it bad, just look at your hands. Remember, when they're persecuting you, they persecuted Jesus. And you count it all joy that you can suffer with Christ because you're going to be glorified with him in the next life. You're going to be glorified. The tree of life. 
the the sea of crystal sea this the you're gonna be chilling with jesus he's gonna light up the whole place the bible's so full of ambiguities and mysteries and puzzles abuka please try to call back if you want um that it is so deep and so good and guys get in it get in it and, and come to bible study with me and we will get we're getting better and deeper every time we try every time we come on here every time we get together you get better you get deeper there are spirits over regions and those spirits the good spirits just went to work for you they just went to work for you you're not under the you're not under darkness you are not under the the lies and the the deception of the prince of the power of the air but your people around you are they are under the deception and lies look at them there's they're like under the lies they have the language of the devil you can hear by the way they talk they haven't put off that old speech that old slander that old gossip they haven't put off cursing job 3 8 says cursed is the man who cursed the day that arouses leviathan put that off listen it might take two or three mess ups for you to quit cussing but you can do it you can do it don't talk dirty don't do it you want god's language god will come and visit you and you'll have encounters with god on almost every day almost every day now he'll go silent because feelings are for babies sometimes and he wants you to have faith you might be going through a test to move up in your ranking in the spirit but your spiritual ranking goes up you are in a kingdom in a monarchy where you don't never stay at the same place by your studies the measure that you're given you can move up okay you can't you don't have to stay there you don't have to stay there paul said you should be eating meat by now but y'all are still babies this is your fault you're not reading your word y'all are arguing doing foolish things don't don't worry about that do the will of the father I watched my two kids argue a couple years ago when they were younger, a five-year-old and a three-year-old or something. They were both arguing about two different things. And most of the time, adults do that. They're arguing just to argue. They don't even know. They're, they're both talking about two different things. It's crazy. They just want to argue. Don't do it. Don't let the enemy get you. Don't let him get you. He hates you with a passion. So, listen, your brethren that aren't submitted yet, they're under the prince of the air. Give them grace. Give them grace. I know it's hard, but the Holy Spirit will help you. That's why we get the comforter. Amen? We get the comforter. The church needs to look like they did in the book of Acts. That's why there's not a lot of power rolling around. Because how many people do we see selling their extra stuff and giving to those in need? How many people do we see that are one in Christ? How many churches really believe that? They think, oh, well, if the coffee's not good, I'm not going to church. Up, oh, their Bible stays in their glove compartment until next Sunday. That's not what it's supposed to be like. You know how much blood was shed to get this precious book to you. So you're, if you squeeze an orange, you get orange juice. If you never get oil out of it, so if you get this in you, you get it in you. You put that effort into listening to an audio. Even they've got these. You could walk around at work and nobody would know. You have one in and one out, so you'd be safe. You know if you could hear people. And you wash your mind while you're working, while you're doing things. And you will transform into the image of Jesus. And when, they, when you get squeezed and you get under pressure and you get in the fire, only the word of God will come out. Benny Hinn said he went to, um, okay, Victoria. He went under, he almost passed away. God was getting his attention. He went wayward about three years. And he said that all he could do while he was under that anesthesia was he he recited the book of genesis and that was because whatever's in you oh wait i'm pushing print what in the world oh no instead of paste oh lead i don't know how i did that cancel um but he he his kids thought he was he was a goner he was speaking um he was speaking the word of God. He was speaking the word of God. Yes, guys, please press like. Please, please press like. We love you guys. I want you guys to come on. Come share. There is a link. Um, I just pasted it right now. I don't know if you can see it. Can you guys see it? Did it go? 
Um, you can come, you can be prayed with. Well, that ain't the link. Let me try that again. Oh, did I? I pasted the wrong link, guys. Hold on. That's the go live link. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You call this and you can um, be on like this right here with us. And uh, I can pray with you. And if you've had a dream or a vision, you want to share it. Um, if, if you think that it's private or something, you can just come audio and it'll just look like that. Um, it'll just have your name that you tap in that you give us. So, um, this is for you guys. The Lord wants us to make this available to the brothers and the sisters so that we can grow and we can learn and be edified and equipped. And I've been doing it for almost two years and God has really grown me and my faith. Walking in faith is important and we all have a purpose and a plan and an assignment. And God wants to help you find it and just really start living in faith. And you be the good man of the house. You're going to be the person that leaves leaves an inheritance to your family members. God has direction for you. God has it. And so we're going to seek first the kingdom of God. You're going to find it. You know, sometimes you can't go to church every day of the week, but we have this on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If, if you're not able to get out, maybe you're stuck at the house. But this is just an extra an extra icing on the cake to go with your church and and the other things that you're doing in your in your community and God wants you to have this available where you guys can come and share and and be equipped so I am a graduate of pastoral I have a master's and bachelor or bachelor in um, <laughs> bachelor in ministry and um, I'm, so, I'm studying for Master of Divinity. And we have shirts. I'm trying to get this bottom thing off. We have shirts like this. It's, um, they, they spark a conversation. This is, this is blue, uh, like till blue. It says Fisher of Men. And, um, and we have all these different little shirts like this. And you guys can get those over there in our merch store at Stream Elements. They make them as you order. And I didn't mark them up because I want you guys to get them so that you can spread the word. They have Jesus on them. And um, they, they spark a conversation that can change a life. That can break the ice for you to share your faith. You know, we are flooding this earth with heaven. God wants us to do that. And so if you want to get some merch, that's where you go. It's usually in the link. Um, in all the descriptions of the videos and you guys can come on that's the link right there that's on the screen and in the chat for you guys to come and join and call in and and be prayed with share your dream share your vision share a prophecy you may have for the body and edify the body because God has given you gifts and talents the whole body everybody we're all a part of the body no man is an island because God wants us all to be submitted to one another. Isn't that beautiful? That's just beautiful to me. Um, so we are, we got to move out of our ego. We got to get out of the way of ourself and just submit to God. Listen, if we're in pride, we're, we are a million miles away from God. We got to humble ourselves and be childlike, pure in heart, teachable. Matthew 11:25 says, Father, Lord Supreme, I thank you have hidden the keys to the kingdom from those who are wise and clever, know-it-alls, and revealed it to the humble and the childlike, trusting children. God is holding his hands out, and he's in the deep end of the pool, and you, you are a kid, and he wants you to jump, and you have to do it. And whatever it is, it's going to look like a Red Sea and Egyptians behind you, but you got to have your eyes on the Lord. That's how he did it. He didn't see the sea, and he didn't see the Egyptians. He only saw the Lord. And he had the angel of the Lord with him because he had fear of the Lord. Praise God. The Lord loves you guys. He loves you. He sent me to tell you he loves you. He knows every hair on your head. He has such a divine purpose for your life to prosper you, to give you a hope, to give you a future, to give you an expected end. He thinks thoughts towards you. And he wants you to clean your mind so you can hear those thoughts that he has for you. And in those deja vus you've had, that's God's. God showed you it before. 
God showed you in a dream, in a vision, Joel 2.28, in the last days I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your sons and daughters. Your young men will dream dreams. Your old men will see visions. Even your manservants and your maidservants. Everybody. All, all classes, all social classes, all money classes, all money classes, everything. And the reason that, that maybe if you are in poverty, if you have entered a, a time, a season of poverty or lack, it's because God is going to build you up. He wants to build you from a humble beginning. And we played a video Prophet Levy did, I think yesterday or either the day before. I implore you, go back and watch them. I try to play them every day, um, almost, around 12, 12 to 4. I play them at 2. There's always one playing. I loop them so you guys can get on there and get them. It's full of good, good truth. Good truth, what we need, what we need. So um, I believe Prophet Levy is the Moses of today that God is using to lead us out of the lies of the devil. Because that's all the devil has is a lie for you. It's a lie. Are you really the son of God? Are you really called? Are you really? Are you really? Of course you are. Of course you are. Of course you are. So, Father, Lord, I thank you for the body of believers, Lord. I thank you right now that you're stirring up the gifts within them, Lord. The gifts that you put in them whenever you were creating them, forming them in their mother's womb. As you told Jeremiah, when you formed him in the womb, you knew him. And you know every single thing about them. And you have a designed a purpose and a plan for their life. You have thoughts towards them for a hope and a future to give them an expected end. You have men who you can make given to their bosoms, Lord, to do your will, to carry out your assignment, to fulfill your purpose. Father, if they've been in, um, having setbacks, it's because, and it's because that they're out of your will, Father. Illuminate that to them wherever they have built on a foundation of their own, and it's not of your will, Father. Take it out. Take it out and start over. Take it out and start over now, Lord. And begin to illuminate that to them in the name of Jesus. Stir those gifts within them that they got whenever that began being stirred whenever they were baptized if they haven't been baptized lord let them y'all let me know in the chat let me know in the chat you can get baptized in your tub i will baptize you in your clothes you can get baptized publicly pronounce your faith right here on the channel on the live stream you can do it all if you haven't been in the name of jesus the father the son and the holy spirit to for the remission of your sins with that you for a public profession of your faith that you die with Christ and you risen with Christ that your old man is gone and new things are coming and the Lord loves you he loves you so much and he's not willing that a single one perish that a single one miss everything that he has for you on his road of your destiny there everything is there every necessity every need there's no lack God created God created prosperity not us Thank you, Lord, that suddenly they're going to begin to see your hand move in their life. That anything that's in them that's not of you, Lord, that you're removing it right now tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. May your babies feel your love in arms. May they be held in the shadow of your wings. Thank you, Jesus. May they know the myriads and myriads of angels that are with them, that go before them doing your will to help them carry out their assignment lord to keep them in all their ways so they don't dash their foot against a stone thank you lord thank you jesus thank you that scales are coming off of their eyes that chains are breaking right now in the name of jesus chains are falling off of them things that have bound them for years strongholds patterns cycles ways of thinking generational patterns Thank you, Lord, that those things are falling off right now. They're going to wake up in the morning. It's going to be a new day, and they're not even going to think about that thing, that habit that is constraining them, restraining them. Thank you, Lord, that as they begin to walk in your purpose, that those things begin to fall off in the name of Jesus. They don't have to wait until they get better and then go that you will make them better as they go. And I thank you for that, that they're righteous in Christ. Christ is their righteousness. And may they begin to see. May all the chains of religion and the law be broken off of them now in the name of Jesus so they can get well. The law kills. 
May they begin to see that. May every chain of religion be broken off now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I arrest every unclean spirit trying to operate in their life in the name of Jesus and operate around them. Anything trying to speak to them, I arrest your tongue in the name of Jesus, speaking lies in their mind that they're not going to amount to anything, that they, they don't have a call of God, that they're not a child of God. I arrest you now in the name of Jesus and I command you to come off of them in Jesus' name, up and out in Jesus' name. Jesus is going in your bodies, in your temples. The Spirit of the Lord is going in there with a whip like he went in the temple. The Spirit of the Lord is in your dwelling, in your body. Right now, removing all uncleanness out of your body. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for the mind of Christ that, that your spirit, the spirit of wisdom, rest on them, begins to give them ideas. May they be writing books that's going to bless people for generations to come. May they be required reading in seminaries all over the world. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. May they have children's books coming out of them. May they have children's videos. May they tap into the $21 billion business of um, ads and, and get some of this dirt off and, and put God... God colors in the world. May they begin to penetrate every every genre in society, every workplace, every every business in the name of Jesus. May they carry you. May they not be afraid of anything so that they're honest in business. May they be honest about everything. May they not lie on their taxes. May the devil not get them with nothing. May they never have to look over their shoulder again. May they trust you in all their ways. In the name of Jesus. They don't have to lie on their insurance. They don't have to lie on their taxes. They trust you, Lord, so you can continue to bless them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want to tell you a second, guys, about binding. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for your anointing. Thank you, Lord. God is, God is doing things in you guys. Right now, tonight, and in me. He's doing things. He's grace upon grace upon grace. And you're going to be a life-giving spirit to those around you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. May they get... May they get the the um, baptism of Jesus. May they get the baptism of fire of tongues. May that fire go in them and begin to burn all the old out, all the dross off the gold, making them pure gold. And may they get their prayer language to worship you, Lord, in an unknown tongue, to pray to you perfect prayers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Heck, head, head, by yes, heck, head, by by yay. Thank you, Jesus. Just begin to pray in tongues and practice wherever you go. Worship God in your own spiritual language with your heart. Guys, it's not a matter of words. It's a matter of your heart. You worship God in spirit and in truth. Surrender to the Lord. While you're worshiping in tongues, to dreams, visions, um, ideas, the Lord's going to speak to you. And give you interpretation of what you've spoken and things like that. You're going to begin to walk in the supernatural and experience supernatural things. You were made for this. You were made for this. So may you guys just begin to do it. May you begin to live by faith and not by sight. May you begin to work, work your spiritual response. May you begin to work your spiritual response. Remembering that your words are soldiers. Your words are soldiers. May you remember that every instant. May you be so full of the word of the Lord that when you stump your toe, you say goodness, you say mercy, you call on your angels instead of a curse on your own self that boomerangs back on to you and your children and your children's children. You're not just cursing you, you're cursing your families. Don't do it no more. Father, may their eyes be open. May they see that in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I thank you that every person, every seed that they've sown this week, that you show out in the harvest, Lord. That you show out as they give to you for what you have done already in their lives as a sign of worship 
as they give to you in worship, as they give to the poor, as they give to the widows, as they give to the sojourners, as they live a life that is more blessed than to give than receive. Lord, may they take care of others. May they have just the biggest heart that you can trust with more. When they're faithful in the small matters, may, they, may you make them faithful over larger ones, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that no small foxes are going to ruin their vine. Thank you, God. No small foxes. Praise God. Out of, out, you receive it in Jesus' name. Visions and dreams in Jesus' name. You want it. You have to. What do you want it for? What is your motive for edification of the body? That's your motive. And you ask the Lord, make sure I'm purified, sanctified, make me in, make my heart after God's own heart. Make me um, soften my heart, Lord. Make sure my motives are right, Lord. If there is a motive that maybe is not pure, say, Lord, I confess this to you. Father, take it. Devil, get behind my back. Father, I submit to you. Your word says that you're going to give me a new heart and take out my heart of stone. Father, I was having this thought. He already knows. And, and then he will purify you, sanctify you. And he will give you, he will give you, he wants to give you it more than you want it. Because it will edify your brethren. It will edify the whole ecclesia, the whole body of Christ. The whole church. God wants to. So binding and loosing, guys. Binding and loosing were common. I want to end with this. They were common Jewish legal um, phraseology. Meaning to declare something forbidden or declared aloud as well okay so when you bind you're declaring it is forbidden on earth what is forbidden in heaven i'm declaring aloud what's on earth and what's in heaven the um apostles were given the privilege um to do that in matthew 18 jesus told them um i think it was matthew 18 Matthew 16, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Wherever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Jesus is speaking in this verse directly to the apostles and indirectly to the uh, apostle Peter and indirectly to the other apostles. Jesus' words, um, meant that Peter would have the right to enter the kingdom himself that he would have the general authority symbolized by the possession of the keys so god's given you the keys and whatever you bind on earth whatever you forbid is forbidden whatever you loose is allow declare it aloud it is allowed when you declare forgiveness when you declare that they are in the kingdom of god they are allowed now to be in the kingdom of god Um, when you are opening up the kingdom of heaven to all believers, you, you're allowing them to come in or, or shutting it against unbelievers. The book of Acts shows it at work at Pentecost. In Acts 2.14, Peter opened the door to the kingdom for the first time by the expressions bind and loose were that common Jewish phraseology. Peter and the other disciples were to continue Christ's work on earth, preaching the gospel, declaring God's will to men, that they were armed with the same authority that Christ possessed, and you are as well. In Matthew 18, 18, there is also a reference to binding and loosen. In the context of church discipline, the apostles are don't usurp Christ's lordship over individual believers in their eternal destiny, but they exercise authority to discipline if necessary. Like if they excommunicate a disobedient church member. You remember Paul said, um, hand that guy over to Satan so his body will do, be destroyed, but his soul will be saved. So there was some of that going on. So, but you guys have authority. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. You are seated with heaven in heavenly places with God in Christ. You're not fighting the battle. Jesus is fighting the battle for you. Amen. Amen. You're loved by God. And God is fighting for you. You just do what he wants. You be there. You be where he's sending you. 
and let the Spirit work through you. Amen? You do what the Spirit is telling you. Quit worrying about if they're right, if they're doctrine, if they're this, if they're that. You worry about souls. Get souls on your mind. You know, we got a dog seven months ago. We got a puppy. My, my son named it Souls. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings. God wants us to stay focused on souls in this house. He wants you guys focused on souls too. Okay? So when they lose something it, or allowed it on earth, they were like, likewise fill, fulfilling God's eternal plan. So, um, <clears throat> I've heard it said not to bind principalities and stuff. Whenever I go up to the park, and um, I've never heard Prophet Levy say it. I've heard deliverance ministers, and I've also heard Prophet Levy say that um, deliverance ministers preach wrong doctrine, and then they put another lie, and then you're in more trouble, right? So, I had somebody ask me this question. So, I want to tell you guys about it, because I go up there, that's where I'm sent. So whatever, I'm binding those things in the people that are there because I'm coming against persecution. That is my domain that God has sent me to. So now do I go up to the local bar if I'm not sent there and go walking around at marching, praying and binding and all that? No, I don't do that. But I don't, I, we are in a wrestle against principalities and powers, but that also means that Satan entices you with your desires and your lust, and he draws you away. What is that scripture? <clears throat> the scripture that says Satan does entices you with your desires. Wow, there's a hundred verses about Satan tempting people. I love those to look up a certain subject and then it'll tell you how many and you can just read through it. Scripture that says you are enticed and, and drug away by your own lust. James 1 14. Every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when the lust hath conceived, it bring forth a sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. So we want to um, wrestle. That's what we're wrestling mostly. Satan has the flea. When you resist him, he has the flea. He has asked to sift you like wheat. And it's, you've got to overcome this flesh, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. It has to be the love for your brother has to be stronger, the love for Jesus. You have to die to self than that desire for that thing that you want in this world. For that hunger you have for food. That's why fasting is a weapon. So it's so important that you work it, you work the word, and you're not afraid of no principality or nothing else. Now, we don't insult them. We don't, I know that's written in Judas that even, um, even Michael didn't insult Satan when he was looking for his body or something. Scripture in Judas or that says even Michael didn't insult Satan. Um, even the archangel Michael contending with the devil was disputing about the body of Moses. He didn't presume to pronounce a blasphemous judgment, but said, the Lord rebuke you. Rebuke him or whatever. God is with us in our ignorance. Praise God. We don't know everything. We are children, but I'm telling you, we, I'm going to bind that thing. I'm going to bind it. I feel led of the spirit to do it. And that is my region that I'm sent over. And I want to take those things down because that is your domain and you got to do that you got to take authority what, what are you going to do just leave them up there i don't think that makes any sense so uh, if um you have anything that you want to talk about guys come join us talk about it let's hash it out let's learn that's why it's so important we get together and we learn amen amen He's going to come on a pure horse. A horse that's why. He's going to come on a pure horse. Um, <clears throat> did, did you hear about, did you hear Zechariah 6? 
God's got dapple horses. God's got green, you know, the green horse, the red horse, and all that in Revelation. That's the same flag, the same color flag as Hamias. Those horses is the same as that Hamias flag. They're the same. And that's because everything that's in heaven is white. I believe. There's some red up there. Well, right now we know in part. And we will know in full. And I'll pray about it. If you have a question, email me. And um, I'll prayerfully seek the Lord and ask the Lord. And God always answers me whenever I ask Him. I ask Him and I do what I can do. And you do this too. This is your relationship. You prayerfully seek the Lord. The Holy Spirit will literally tell you. The Holy Spirit will literally lead you into all truth. That's what the seven spirits of God, which you have inside of you, in you, helping you, leading you, guiding you. You are the fire, that fire that dwelled on that tabernacle right there in the wilderness. It's in you. It's in you. When you pray for people, they're going to feel the fire of God from now on out. You start giving this your all. You start giving this your all. God's going to show out in your life. Don't be false. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't do that. Be serious with the Lord. Live by faith and not by sight. And you will see miracles, signs, and wonders. It's a promise of God. The Spirit is a promise. Okay? Yeah. Get them things out of there. First, go into the house and bind the strong man. Listen, it's not you casting the devil out. It's the Holy Spirit doing it. You have nothing to fear. Absolutely nothing to fear. God has already won. He took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. And the devil don't even have the keys to his place. Amen? He don't even got the keys. God gives sweet sleep to his beloved. You don't have to be up all night fighting demons. You do not. That's a lie. That's wrong doctrine. Um, you, you might get woke up to pray by God or to spend some time with the Lord. That's it. God loves you and he wants you to have an abundant life. He wants you to have joy, peace. He wants you to be happier than the rest of your friends where they look at you and say, I want what they have. He wants you to be prosperous, to leave your second and third generation, fourth generation children. King Hezekiah, we, we talked about at the beginning, was called evil because he didn't care about the generation after him. God calls a man of God who cares about his family. A man who doesn't care about his family is not a man of God. I can't very well leave my family here without something. God is going to make sure you have something to leave your family. You start now and you'll be so much further than you will if you wait. Don't wait. There's not much time. Those horses in Revelation had the same. There's a video. Somebody did a video about it. Really good video. It had 500,000 views the other day. 10, 10 minutes. About Hamas, Hamas and Jesus already said what it was going to do in the book of Revelation and talking about the flag being that color. That brother's interpretation of that was um, amazing. It was amazing. Um, I would, I don't, it's been a long time, so I don't have it in my videos, but I'll try to find it. And I think he played music. I can't play it. Some people allow you to, some people like, don't, but that's why we're all one body. You guys could always play my videos anywhere you want to on any platform. As long as they don't give you trouble about it, I don't care. I don't care because we're all one body. Amen? So um, all it is is free marketing. It's free marketing. That's the, top of the, that's the top paying thing is commercials. Because guess why? Because it, it, um, it brainwashes you. It brainwashes you. And God wants to brainwash you into his, into his kingdom into his kingdom instead of into darkness and the world are the devil has had a hold of the tv entertainment for since it began and it's gotten so perverted and corrupted so bad even the kids stuff netflix is terrible we barely watched we don't watch it we don't watch it we tried to last night and it was bad you know just for a holiday and i don't like it at all and so when you're getting persecuted for being the one who don't like to do those things, you just count it all joy because you're being, you're, you are being persecuted with Christ. You are, you are going to be glorified with him in the next.
What, you're doing your own stream, Alda? Alda, do you want to call the call in the live here? Um, are you wanting to do your own stream or are you wanting to call in the live? Yes, you are. Don't be afraid. Oh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Be bold in the Lord. Listen, the devil is coming against you guys because, um, he knows that's where your freedom is. A sister had a dream she shared with me. Her phone, you can come on, you can come on, just don't sound if you want. A sister had a dream that her phone blew up. It started blowing up. And then it started, she dropped it to the ground. And then it went to raining. And then it turned into a small bar of soap. She ran inside and told her kids, no more watching the phone. And she wanted to know what that was about. And I believe the Lord is telling her, this was right after I was studying about how much business is for um, advertising and all of that. There's $21 billion business in this, all of this, in what they do on YouTube. You need to come up with good godly content. You need to come up. You, we need to be sharing our stories. We need to come up with things for them to watch. Maybe something to get them in. I became all things to all people. Guys, ideas, ideas, ideas. Make videos, make videos, make songs, make songs. God has put a talent and ability in you. Do not fear. You have overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. You break past that, that barrier. Moses said, I can't go, Lord. I can't go. I stutter. No, God, God was so aggravated with him. He never reached his fullest potential because he had his brother speaking for him. You could do, he could have done so much more. He could have done so much more. So, and he didn't revere God and he smote that rock twice and he didn't go in, he didn't revere God enough. And I thought Moses revered God, but obviously because he got mad, he smote that rock twice. There's a, a revelation in that. And we could go on all night. We could go on all night. But listen, Tuesday and Thursday, come on, pray to the Lord right now in the name of Jesus I declare the Lord give you boldness and revelation to speak his gospel may you guys begin to come on here share your testimony share all of your beautiful things that's going on with you and the Lord in your personal sanctuaries may God just begin to bloom you into soul winners in the mighty name of Jesus and may he begin to give you ideas for 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 making money to spread the kingdom of God. As he told the, the Israelites, go borrow their earrings. May he give you ideas to support your needs. So there is no lack. So you can support pure and undefiled religion, which is to support widows and orphans and sojourners. May you be um, faithful when God gives you provision and not hold on to it and try to be stingy or be un, unfaithful not have any faith and try to hold on to it when God asks you to give it you give it so he can trust you with more this is the kingdom of God reaping and sowing sowing and reaping sowing and reaping if you don't sow you will not reap if you want to make two hundred thousand dollars and the end of the year harvest is coming praise God there's Alda the end of year harvest is coming so you need to sow according to what you want your blessing hey Hello. girl hey beautiful Hello, hello. Hey. Yes, yes, you are more. Look at here. I don't know how I have to turn my camera. Turn it sideways. What? What are you doing? That don't look good. Ah. That don't look good for the viewers. No. Just turn it to your. Like this? No, turn it oh. to you. Turn it to you. Okay. Oh, I don't want so much to. So what? What's um, been going on? I, can I can I ask something? Willie Nolan have writing something. Don't give into the evil one. And what what does it mean? What does it mean? What? 
Oh, somebody something. said, you don't give in to the evil one. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I don't let the devil scare afraid. you. About what? <laughs> oh, if you, no, no. you want to come being shy. Uh, okay, no, no, no. I'm not shy, but because for me it's uh, um, too late. It is four in the morning. Yeah. Uh, okay, and... And I'm alone home and yeah, like pajama or something like this. That is okay for streaming, you know. But and what I have to, what I about this horse? What do you mean? What is the horse? What? Oh, the horse. Exactly. Many horse, but what? The horses. The horse. The horses. The horses in Revelation. The colors is the same color as the Hamayas flag. Green, red, but and I, white, I, I believe. Interesting about the uh, the color, as I'm interesting. What means horse? The white horse. Just white Jesus horse. What means? Oh, I have Not to just pray Jesus. about it, Alda. Any. What? I I have to pray about it. I think it means strength. I think it means strength. I think it means he's coming in power when he comes uh, to judge. He, he, he's coming in power, but power is inside. Uh, um, and outside is just extension. What I want to say is, um, how I have to say, uh, there are many horses in the Bible, entire Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think... Uh, Daniel, Daniel was Daniel who have fighted now Jacob or who is the Jacob has fighted with God or something. There was it. It is um, in a, um, I don't know exactly where. Um, what I want to say is like this: the vision in the Bible. Uh, uh, I'm talking about the vision in the Bible speaking that um, he see an angel he sit a man he sit on the horse and another angel talk about uh, this angel was to uh, make something on the earth. he have uh, something to do from God listen to this in the Jewish in the Jewish tradition um, yeah. A horse is synonymous with a mule, a donkey, and a human fool. A horse is presented as an opposite of a person who governs himself or herself by willing submission to God's law. It is by nature wild and unbridled and has to be subdued with sustained training. That's how we are without the spirit. That's how we are. That's what I was I, talking about tonight. I just have a, a feeling, a thought. I don't know how I have to say it. It's not a feeling. It's a, a thought. Um, that is, for me, in, in the Bible class, it's like a transporter of accelerating. And the time is like a, a time accelerator. And uh, the 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 color thing. about exactly is what kind of time peace is uh, a turbulence or something like this. I am not a, I'm not I'm I'm not sure what I'm saying or something, but I just uh, try to make connection with what I um, with how I see the the the, the story because. Really, um, I don't know if it's uh, writing like this, but it's uh, a vision, and a vision has to be interpreted in Apocalypse, in Revelation. You know what I mean? Yeah, he says, yes. coming, uh, he's coming with uh, uh, on the horse, and I think when is this time a, a vision that has to be interpreted by the Holy Spirit, natural. Yeah, yes, it does. Um, I've been talking about your 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 dream, 
or your vision you had um, and about the boots. I feel like yes. the boots, God was, God was raining those boots down for all of us. Whoever wants to wear those yes. light boots can put those on. And the, the gold soles is the provision for but wherever God's sending you. I'm really confront with, um, um, that's a good situation, financial, uh, have I say, um, as, as I become more vision and the more approach to God, but uh, are really the things seems to be in disaster, how I have to say, uh, I don't feel nothing, I am okay, um, I'm preserved from God and he he has the hand I am in the hand of God uh, actually I tend every time to say he has the hand up on me but I have the I am in the hand of God you know I know that yeah. but about this um, prosperity financial or something like this that is um, a, a big confront in my life right now because um, I'm in, in the balance to, to lose something or become all. I don't know, just a miracle can I become, because I don't do it, nothing to become something, you know? And yeah. Amen. Okay. That's what we've been talking about this week was um, God taking you down to nothing so that he can get the credit for building you. That mm -hmm. way you're completely reliant on him. So sometimes yeah. he lets you get down to nothing, you know, and you, you start from nowhere and then you go, then you suddenly you're okay. And you have your provision and everything you need with God. It's just a matter of trust in the Lord. Um, it's a matter I, of trusting God. I'm come to this point that I really don't, uh, don't feel that I need, uh, if I can, without provision, just to have it, to eat and uh, where to stay for me, it's okay. You know what I mean? I don't need so... That's where God wants you. Huh? That's where God want. That's where God wants you. You don't want money, but you, you have to have it. Um, you have to have food. You have to have... Yeah, yeah. It, it, the gospel doesn't cost anything, but it costs to share it. How can you help widows and orphans if you don't have any money? How can you bless somebody? Yes, that is necessary to have something uh, material to blessing with material things. But uh, yeah, so we have to have balance. I think it's also good. I um, think if I pray or if I give it, uh, give it to you material is um, the same thing. You know what I mean? Because I think Amen. this extension to, uh, um, to material is this so like extension. Yes, they are. Yeah. If I uh, give you... Yeah, the and then I, it's... Uh, you got... You know? Go ahead, Anna. It, Go ahead. I, you got to have a balance because it's harder for a rich man to enter into heaven than a camel through an eye of a needle. So whatever God gives you, you need to be in a mindset that you're his steward. I, you know what horse means? Um, Alda, I, I want you to come back on. I don't, because we've already been on so long, I, I've got to cut it short tonight. But I want you to come back on and I want you to get into studying about have you been you sound like you've been studying I do, and I, praying as you study look up Saul lost his donkey and he went to um, Samuel and mm -hmm. guess what he had to have whenever he went to Samuel he had to have something to give the man of God he literally took, he, they had like some shekels or something to give the man. So we have to have, if you, every story you read, look, mm -hmm. look. So I got that way where I was like, we don't need money. 
We are nee, I, 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 I mean, this me, thing. I, I understand what you mean right now. To blessing, you need uh, to bless the people uh, with exactly what he need. So that he recognizes right. the people of God. I, do, I understand what you mean. But I say just for me, I don't need it so much. I need just what is provided uh, for me, you know. I'm not desperate to pray for money or something like this because he's coming, I think. When I have to do something... Amen. Amen. Um, can I say something? I was praying in time. In this time when I pray, uh, when I pray so I have just a, 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 vis a vision but uh, a movement a vision i was I, I don't know how i have to say because i was praying and i was moving and i was standing and it was something like this i, I make it something like this because i was speaking just tongues i don't know what i say or but i know i speak with god so when i speak in tongues i was make it like this with my hand and i have it in my hand a stick this stick is the stick of moses what i have it i know it and um how i have to say this um praise god where'd she go oh come on Lord, we thank you for making this live stream go right in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, let me. It's all right. It's all right, though. Uh, I'm sorry. What is this? Tomorrow. Okay. You said you had the, the staff? The, uh, about this, uh, uh, how is the name? The speak, speak. How is the name? Staff. Staff. Something for old people. How is the name? For old people. To... This stuff. This staff. Stuff on... Staff. Okay. I had. The staff. I had this staff in uh, my hand. And I was like this. It was a force in my arm. It was not the right arm, but this arm. Uh, the the another one not right the left the left the left, uh, the left hand and uh, when i was praying i saw something with this uh, uh, um stick what is this okay it's working it's working hello hello you're working yes uh, okay. you're working <laughs> Sorry, just for uh, confirmation. Um, I saw in print. I, it is become it is become like a serpent in my hand, and uh, something in my head say throw it on the uh, on the earth on the earth, and this. Uh, so when I thought it was stick, uh, staff. When I throw it on the earth, it's become a big serpent. And I have it to, to keep it on. And I keep it from, uh, from head, but from here, from neck. And not from the, how I have to say, I have to translate something just a second. I translate something because I don't know how I have to say in English. Um, de quadra, de quadra. Okay, and now in English. English. It's very interesting because I don't know what, how I have to manage this serpent, you know? by the tail 
What? Do you know what is tail? Tail. This serpent, it was a serpent. Um, I think when Moses had the the snake, it was God showing him there was power in the stick. Can I say you right now? I uh, translate it. I caught the snake by the neck, not the tail. You know? Mm -hmm. I catch it like this. Pow! With power. Without uh, fear. I don't have fear about this uh, uh, serpent snake. This snake, I, I, I take it like this in hand. It's a um, prevent stick, so steps. And then I say, oh, I, I didn't uh, keep it in normal and they put it to the, uh, i throw it on the on the ground and they keep it uh, the uh, another time but above so but of the tail of the tail and they make it like this so i take it like this and this uh and i put it like this stick so this is the stick i try to this is the stick so you may just have a stick I have a stick. Look, <laughs> something I had. This I put it like this. I I I had it uh, like this in hand, and then I was on the on the wall, and uh, it was practical. This uh, big big. Um, it was like a mountain. It was like a stone, a big big stone, like a wall and i have this stick and i i uh think i make like this so for a trout on the wall and it's coming water and i have this uh, thing i know that is written in the bible what moses uh, do it with the stick but i see it with my eyes what he do it it's like i was there like i do it not Moses, you know, because I say it, I see, Amen. It, uh, I see it as like, um, it's happening with the red, uh, red, uh, mer, red, mer, red sea as well. It was like this, something red like what? this. Just, red sea. Yes. Red sea. He was put it on the red sea. Yeah. Like yeah. And, uh, then God's telling you after after time you have the staff huh God's what? telling you you got the power of God in your hand we don't listen the staff had Moses had the staff we don't need the staff we have that same spirit in us mm -hmm. our house our our body is the temple of the Lord so the same thing Moses did, you can do the finger of God. You have the finger of God. God's calling you and you need to focus on his word. And I believe that horse, you could be like a horse and not get in your word and be hard headed and not change. I don't see it and not I don't see it hard. I don't see a horse or something like this. Okay. I'm just okay. asking because okay. I'm curious. Because I'm curious about But horse. I believe the um that God's telling you that you're called and that you'll be okay. You've got the power of God with you. You've got God. You won't need you he will make sure you have provision. You don't need to look to provision. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't worry about the Red Sea. Don't worry about about the rock or I'm anything not, you uh, worry about god I'm not, i don't care um, uh, uh, how i have to say it's just what i'm say, uh, what i see what i have it in the moment when when i was praying because i was praying normal so other so i was uh, praying and this i see these things you know so in this moment um i see like i was as moses not just that i have this thing i'm sorry I, amen it's crazy. 
to say because I'm a woman. <laughs> or, so Amen. it's not a man yeah. to, to be It doesn't but matter. Listen, I think you're, the, the Jesus paid for all of us to have the same spirit of God. And, and mm -hmm. many are called, but few were chosen. I believe that your dreams and your visions edify the whole body too as well. But some of them are personal, but prophecy for one is prophecy for all. And so that spirit, that, can that I, power can, you had in that stick. Can I say something? That's the Holy Spirit in you. That is all what I see. But it's... Uh, mm, I had it, vision is past, and I have it, uh, the, the stick, already. And I say, ah, because I stop it, and I say, in my thoughts, what is this? In my thoughts, in my thoughts, I say, and now how I have to use, because I was uh, angry with God, because you told every time to Moses what I have to do. Where uh, have to put this uh, this uh, thing? And why you don't say me what I have to do? Thank you that I have something and I don't have um, the um, how I say it. Uh, I was not so um, happy because I don't know it, what I have to do with them, you know. And uh, I was happy and uh, joyful to see what's happening and how much power is because it's like a trans transmitter so like a channel you know like a channel like a tube yeah. it's a transmitter and i say okay and i thought i have to find a, a stone for myself and put it this um mm -hmm. this um Stick, stuff, stiff, stiff. What the hell is the name? Stiff. Uh, this stick on this um, stone to command something in the name of Jesus. Like, and I um, thought, okay, my my financial is a, it seemed like a stone right now. And I take mm -hmm. my cards. I put it everything. Uh, What's a, a financial meaning? I put it on the on the ground, and I do it with this stick like this, because it was stone for me, and for them how have to come in to come water. You know what I mean? So water. I, so water I came mean, out. You put everything financial flow. on the ground. Yes. And you hit it with the staff. Yes. And water came out? Yes, because uh, because I say I have... Uh, Amen. I, because I, I Amen. thought as, 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 I, I have to find stone. Because I see uh -huh. when you put it on stone, it's coming water. And I say, what? I, how I have to do? <laughs> because I don't know. I was angry with God. Because you don't tell me how I have to do. I don't know. I'm not so. Amen. His brave, he's no? given Amen. us. Um, he's given us direction in his word, Alda. I think. Um, I think he's telling you that you have this spirit of God within you that you're more powerful than you know. You're as powerful as Moses was, and it's as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So, and, and you're not going to have to worry about those financial issues. They're going to, you're going to be okay. Trust him and, and start you. He's telling you to take a step and you've got to take that step before he tells you the next step. So, so he's he told tells you, me, uh, the or he's telling you something to do. Next. He only lights up a little bit. He wants tr a hundred percent reliance. reliance. He wants you What's to um, hmm? trust. Trust. He wants childlike he, he faith. Me. He trusts me. 
He trusts me. God trusts me. He wants you it. to trust him. I trust him also. Uh, because I see me in um, spirit and uh, my character is loyalty and devotment. I'm devoted to God. Uh, devotement. Just a second, I will uh, say you exactly. Devotement. De devotion. Loyalty yes. and devotion. Yeah, loyal. Two things. You're devoted. Devotement. Yeah, I'm uh, devote. And devote, it's gone to the sacrifice, until the sacrifice. Amen. You, know, you are Amen. ready to sacrifice. And I well, was. Is he telling you? Uh, is he telling you to go character. somewhere? Is he telling you to do something? I, no, no. Share he doesn't say me the what I have to do. Hmm? Is he telling you to build a women's center? Is he telling you to. It's got something to do with building the church, winning souls. Mm -hmm. He's telling uh, you to do something to win souls. I'm praying. To, to, I'm praying. You're praying? I'm praying for people. Amen. Yes. Amen. Well, well I'll keep praying, and, and, and I'm going to pray too, and I think there's some action he wants you to take. I think he wants you to do more. But you just need to get um, there and he'll do everything. Like you you need to you maybe need to cast some demons out of some people. He's sending you to set I, some of his people free. Uh, I was praying uh, tonight I was praying with something for casting some demons. He uh, but one he was dreaming for about people a, like uh, Snake, pit and snake, someone, uh, a friend of mine have a brother and the brother dreamed, uh, has a dream with a um, piton snake and he was afraid and he um, say to, to the sister and sister tell me and we, we was Amen. free to, to praying about this. And I tried to put everything, uh, everything together, every uh, iniquity, spirit, and uh, everything what is not good, the plans, the influence, the mind, the um, set mindset, and everything to put under the, how I have to say, just a second, uh, dissolve, dissolve. Dissolving the plane. Yes. Every I, plane I you have. You have the power of God inside of you. You have the staff of Moses, the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in you. You've got angels working with you. And there are people that are in captivity of demons. And can, your can I say ranking you something? Is okay. I, and I you just go past under, those I, demons. I, I, I just want to understand exactly because you say uh, uh, Moses, um, this uh, this thing is not the Holy Spirit. It is the it's, Holy uh, Spirit. Uh, it's in you. Inside the Holy Spirit, to stay in the presence of God, you need the Holy Spirit. You know. I don't think yes. the Holy Spirit was in a six. It was just an uh, object with um, with that I have used it. You see. With the anointing think, on it. Yeah, it God's like, also uh, showing you. It's like what you have. Symbols and what tokens. You, okay, I use this stick to make what I want. So, like something like this. I think yeah, you could, you could, um, I don't know. Um, it, it sh you could use it. Listen, God uses, um, symbols and tokens in the, in the Bible. And that's, we took communion earlier. We were talking about that. 
We are people, we got to see something to make it concrete. We can't see mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, you know, it's, it's wind, it's fire. We can't really see it. I believe God gave you that symbol or token of his power, his mighty power, which resides within you. It resides within you. It's in you. And, and he's sending you. And the, the guy who called tonight and wanted you to pray was comfort confirmation. Like, this is what I'm asking you to do. This is it. You're, you're big enough in the spirit. You got big girl panties on. <laughs> you're ready to go get them. You go cast those demons out of them. You pray for them. You won't be harmed. You, they cannot. That's what we just read. Matthew 16 says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So Jesus was telling the apostles that. And God has called you. And he's definitely calling you into the work. The work of the what Jesus came to do, and that is to destroy the works of the devil, build the kingdom of God, cast out demons, preach the gospel, and heal the sick. That is our calling. That's what we are called to do, nothing else. That's it. That's it. And so you might, you're going to, there's a people that you are sent to, Aldo, right there. Where are you at again? Where are you located? What? Where you live? Switzerland. Switzerland. You're sent. God has placed you there to lead some people there around you out of captivity. But Why they're not I'm in captivity to Egyptians. I was praying for someone they're in Canada. That's there's more probably there's people over there. Maybe you should start a live stream. No, Maybe you could start. No, you are good. For I'm, this serious. I'm serious. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm serious. You can pray for more people. I, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not yet, kidding. Maybe. This is what I've been talking about. We are the army of God, and God wants to flood this earth with heaven through us. And we need to win as many souls. You want to win as many spiritual babies as you can. You remember Rachel, she was barren. She couldn't have children. Sarah couldn't have children. Mm -hmm. Well, they ended up having children. We need to have some children up in heaven to bring with us up there. Because if we get up there and we ain't got no children, we're done. We're done. We're going out. We're not going to be there, I don't think. We need to win children. We need to win souls. We that's the only thing that matters. So I think that you should um, continue to pray. Can I Come back on. How do you know? How do you know you have win someone? If they are, if they are starting to love God, they're calling you. They're asking about God. Um, they're they're coming back maybe or they were really serious about it you may never know until you get to heaven okay but the, you um, always try most of people most of people it's the hard job um, make the confirmation they take the covenant of jesus from salvation and uh, say i believe in jesus he's died on the cross and he's died for my salvation uh, and I believe he is the son of God and he is resurrected uh, three days after. They say, uh, these people say they, with, uh, with, uh, with mouth. And now they want to get I relationship. How I know they have believed in the heart because this is very important. Heart, we well, like that's Victoria the work said, of the Holy Spirit, Hmm? Listen, you do your part. You're the you're the voice, God's words, your voice. 
and you're just one standing representing ambassador for Christ, you you study to show yourself mm -hmm. approved, a true workman, rightly dividing the word. You share the gospel. The time is short. The time is short before Jesus comes back on that white horse. Mm -hmm. And we don't want them to perish. Every soul that's lost is fallen into the fire. And so you share the love of Christ, the redemption plan, the Holy Spirit, fire of God. You pray with them and God's fire is going to fall on them. They're not going to have faith in your words. They're going to have faith in God's power. And when they feel the tangible presence of God because they're babies and God will fill them with his power. If they're innocent of heart, God judges that. If they're, if they're rude and they're not really serious and they just want to accept Jesus because you're a chick or whatever, then God won't touch them. That's God's job. But, Each but you know what I mean? Just not to stay and uh, lose my time because my time is precious. You know? Well, you, that's why you're led of the Spirit. Okay. And you let the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit lead you. He's in you, giving you direction, leading you into all truth. He'll say, stop here. How long did much time did you spend with the guy that you did? Did you talk to tonight about the dream? About the I don't understand. Dream? I don't understand. How long how, did, uh... how much time did you did you spend with the man who had the scary dream? I don't uh, spend time with this man. I just pray one time because he have an operation on uh, head. And now I pray. It. I don't see it uh, live. That's all it takes there. It's going to be different for different people. But he it's is going to be different. Amen. He is believer. Amen. And you can heal the sick. And he'll yes, want a but, stronger uh, relationship I, uh, with Christ. Maybe he was, maybe he was um, looking at at things that he maybe shouldn't have been. Maybe that's why the snake came in. And maybe after that scare, you tell them that hey, you be careful to fill with the word because if the spirit finds the house clean, come back. And you, if they ask you to go one mile, go with them too. God's raising up people who love his sheep. So, yes, time is short, but it's your greatest commodity to give God. Mm -hmm. It's better than I your money. Your time is your money. I... Huh? What? Your time is money to give to God. I'm That's sorry the that best, I missed it every the time best time gift I, to God. I hear uh, dub, da, uh, double. I hear double is coming not uh, in the i know we you y'all try to have earphones when y'all call did you did hmm? you turn down the volume on your tv no no i'm on my hand uh, on my iphone because my t this not a tv this a video projector oh this is not tv oh. it's not TV. i oh. don't have tv see i have to use these um hooked up so i think it helps if you have earbuds because it's mm -hmm. echoing just, just a second amen Can you hear me? so she has some really amazing dreams guys and visions god did a capture with her the other week and she yes. had a very amazing vision and captures. Um, oh, so and I have I so God many, many, many to the things. Church through this. I, I want to share well, with you listen, something. Well, listen, Alda. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, when I was praying for this uh, man, uh, I know that he, is, uh, uh, he had uh, this operation on the head. And uh, I say, like, I don't know why it's coming. And I say, uh, now, uh, how is your tension, uh, your pressure? And I say, it's uh, um, a little kiss. It's not so high. 
and I say, okay, for high, you need, you need, you need uh, water, you know? And they say, uh, put, uh, put in glass a little bit water. And then I say, I was like, I don't know why it's so, it's coming. I say, um, so uh, let, uh, let bless this water with the Holy Spirit. And this uh, water, what you drink, is like water of the life. And he is gone in your body, in every uh, part of your body, every cell, uh, every uh, cell, uh, seal, or how I have to say, um, cellula, just a second, I uh, have to uh, translate, cellula, every cell, every cell from your body has to, uh, to be nurtured from the, this water. But I don't know how I have the, uh, how he's coming to me to 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 say this water blessing with Holy Spirit and it's like it's coming like from uh, uh, water from life and he have no disease and no sickness anymore. I said it. If he, um, I think it's it's uh, it's gonna working because the word of God is working better. Then you don't see as like when you see. That's what I want to say. Because there are people Amen. who want to see. There are people who want to see. But it's better when you don't see. It's better just to know. It's like you have a daughter. And you know she is in a house with you. But she is in a, um, her uh, room. Or the, in the kitchen. And you are in mm -hmm. a studio. But you are sure your daughter is there. You don't need to see your daughter. You know he's there. It's like Amen. this with God. You know, um, uh, when, when, you, when you pray, it's better than you don't see. Then you just, because it's faith what makes possible. Not, uh, not the feelings. People want feelings. Uh, have this rapport with, uh, with things. And... Because I have this vision, it's for me a little bit confusion because I want just to to pray normal. You know what I mean? Not to tend uh, to have tendency to um, to go on a spiritual side. I know that, that I am a dual people, dual. I have spiritual and carnal, mm -hmm. you know? I have a, I ha I am mm -hmm. conscious about this duality. But when you need here, you have to be here. When you are there, you have to be there. You know what I mean? Yes, I hear you. It's like it's better. I, it's I better to. Yep. In my bine să tragi, vartesh ne? My bine să tragi. It's better to shoot. De cât să împingi? Just a second. It's better to pull than to push, you know, because when you go spiritual, Amen. when you see, Amen. when you, when you see, or when you hear the voice, when you have feelings, everyone want to feel Holy Spirit. Everyone want to feel, uh, to see and hear us like carnal. When, but yeah. when you see, feelings when for babies. But when you see and Therefore, you have this, Prophet Levy always says it. Okay. And right. God wants you to be faith without filling. You just know because the Word of God says it, and that's why, and you know it's happening, and you believe it. That's good. That's good the way you explained it. So for them to understand. Yeah, because um, people have to know that you know that. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go I just ahead. want Go to. Ahead. I I just want to say the people confuse uh, invisible with inexistence. You know, invisible. It's not yeah. mean. It doesn't mean it's not exist. Amen. Just because you don't know, yeah, don't see, were... you know. I think I yeah, don't know. Yeah, just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. Yeah.
Amen. But, Amen. but many Amen. people, many people yet now ask, okay, uh, you see everything there, but I don't, uh, don't see here in uh, uh, this reality as like extension because this is a proof that it is. You know what I mean? That is the proof that you have there yeah. or that you, you do their things. Yeah, and, that's uh, what's the scripture we were talking about earlier. Uh, Hebrews 11, um, 3. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. What was this? Hebrew? Isn't that good? Hebrews 11, 3. Hebrews 11, 3. It, that's what we were talking about earlier. Well, Aldo, uh, I want you to come back again on Tuesday, and I want to pray with two people that need prayer as well, okay? Okay. And then come back on Tuesday and come share again. I know God is going to do something extraordinary in your life, and I want to pray with you right now. Okay. I know the Lord is going to come and visit you again. Thank and you. And give you what direction? It's beautiful. It's direction. beautiful to hear. You, yeah, it is. Uh, it is. That's amazing. And so, guys, this is just proof that the Lord's Spirit is moving, and it's possible for you, and you just have faith. And it will happen. And and God is doing things. He's doing things. And he's calling you. He's calling you. So don't, don't let the devil psych you out. Don't let him scare you, boo you, come up with a false um, oh, no, no, no. reality. Uh, uh, because the reality is what not. the word of God says. It doesn't scare yeah, me, Yeah, not Dave you, or, Alda, um, but everybody. Uh, we, we are, we have more scared about us. Yeah, he's like a snake <laughs> that's more scared of you than you are of him. Yes, because you yeah. are, you have scared about you because you don't know how you react. If you react yeah. in uh, uh, on the uh, wish of God or you react as like your carnal, like your flesh, you know, then you have more Amen. scare about you as, a, as, a, as how I have to say, as devils or the, like something like this. How do you respond? That's what we were talking about, Alda. Okay. And see, she's not, she's not um, fluent in the language. So that's her problem. But you know what? She's talking about the same thing. That's the spirit of God. That's the spirit of God operating. So that's amazing, Alda. God is in this. God is in this. This is amazing. Okay. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray with you, and then I'm going to pray with Christopher and Victoria, okay? And then Tuesday... We'll be back on. We're on. We're on Saturday out at the park. But Tuesday, we'll be back on interactive. And I want you guys to come share your encounters and all of that. If you need prayer, um, if you want to come on the live, or if you want to just type it in the chat, it's up to you. Okay. And Victoria is my um, moderator, and she's doing so good. And um, I thank you, Victoria, for helping me keep up with everything because it is. I I have an approach for up, Victoria. I love Victoria so you much. You have what? Yeah, yeah. Amen. Do you hear that, Victoria? I wish to see. We're I sisters see in Victoria. Christ. <laughs> what is it, Alda? I wish to see Victoria because I didn't see Victoria. Amen. Her camera, she's having some issues with her phone hookup, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure out why. Because see, guys, how Alda called back and you could have, we could have like the Brady Bunch on here. You could have more. So we could be praying together. We could be, you could have five on the bottom and one on top or five on the side. I can have up to 10 people, I think. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
I think that it would be helpful. And then when it gets bigger, we'll do Zoom. But um, okay. the Lord is good. And I know that he ordained this, Alda. He ordained this because mm -hmm. you're speaking about the same thing that we were. And okay. you got the scripture. Hebrews 11 is the faith chapter. The faith Hebrews calling. 11. Uh, Hebrew I, oh, I know it is. From 1, 6, and then number six, three. 7, 8, everyone who have uh, faith. Yeah, and number three, what we were saying, through faith we understand the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen. Yes, because the word is uh, is in the beginning, huh? and the beginning was God, and in uh, the in the beginning was the word, us two. You know, mm -hmm. there are two things in yeah. the beginning. The Bible is with in the beginning, in the beginning. God do the um, earth and the, the heavens. But in the beginning, God. And then, is the, yeah. uh, the another thing is uh, 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 beautiful, uh, what I find it, the word was uh, in the beginning, the word was with God, and uh, with God, with, um, with Jesus. And then was the the word was jesus you know yeah, the was word the jesus, word our words. the word what wit and then what everything what you have is like this that is a construction actually you have to see with another eyes it's a construction when you are powerful is like this first is power and the next is this the power is with you that way you are powerful it's a construction, you know Amen. what I mean? Faith is like yeah. this. The first is faith. Faith, and faith is with you, and you are faithful. Mm -hmm. You have to make the col collision. It's like... A, um, I don't know. It's like a key, or how I have to say. You become... You become, when you see something and you want to become this, you have to see, to look at this. You have to look at faith. When yeah, you, you, when you need it. faith, when you need faith, you have to look at faith. When you need power, you have to Amen. look at power. You have to decide to want this. Amen. Amen. You know what I mean? When you're when praying you, with when someone, you decide, like you were saying, hmm? you see them healed. When you're praying with them, you see them healed. If the doctor tells you that you're you're sick, you go plan. If he tells you you got long breathing issues, go plan a hike. And that's your faith. That's your evidence that you believe what God has said about you. I, people get healed all the time by through their faith. It's You're not accepting what the devil says about you, what the world says, what the doctor says. You're accepting what God says about you over what they say whoever they may be, whether it's the doctor or, or the lies of the enemy or your feelings. Don't be moved by what you feel. Be moved by the word of God, right? Um, right I think, I think you can, I think you can, uh, you can uh, uh, heal, be healed without faith as to. You can yeah, uh, be yeah, healed yeah. without faith as to because I think Jesus have seen uh, a person who has uh, um, blood from Abraham or something like that, like this, a woman mm -hmm. who had no seed. And he's gone to, to put the hands of, uh, of his eyes, his eyes, without asking. He know it because when God touch you, you know that it's God, you know? Yeah. Because the presence yeah. of God, you know it. It's impossible that you don't know. You can't be without uh, vi uh, with the uh, closest eyes or don't hearing or something. But the presence Amen. of God, it's uh, it's a communication as well. You know, yes, because it's yes. it's it's something who who tell you that is uh, him. 
you recognize him yeah. as well when you when you be yeah, when yeah. you are touched about uh, from from god directly you don't need uh, uh, faith you are because god touched you he is not faith he's yeah, god yeah. everything what he's touching sometimes you he just does I mean? it his will yeah hmm? well let me pray that the lord touches you because i know he's going to and, you, and I love what you said, that sometimes you don't need faith. One time, those people that their friend let him down through the roof, it was the faith of their friends. So sometimes your friends can even have faith for you. You know, corporate faith. There's different kinds of uh, faith. I taught on that before. Um, so the word is so deep. It's so deep. You could dig and dig and dig in it. And read, you could read a regular book one time, two times, but the Word of God, you could read it for a billion years and never okay. get everything out of it. A, a, a little point, okay, a little Aldo. point. Sometimes, sometimes you okay. don't need faith, but you have to be in the right place in the right time because it's the presence Amen. of God. You know, that is Amen. a, a special. It can, it can be important. that you are, uh, uh, it can be that you are. Uh, in this place in this time just because you you desired when you have a desire to, normally you will uh, uh, go on to your to follow your desire and you are in this place and someone who desired healing for example and maybe had have not enough uh, um, faith because it was uh, struggling with uh, the situation you know, I don't think it's big faith and little faith. I think just uh, for a long term, long time or a short time, because it's not Amen. more powerful or something like this. Uh, you know what I mean? Faithful is a, a, faith is a, for everyone. And I think it's normal faith. Yes, but you yes. have to. Everyone um, has faith. You, everyone yes. has a gift of faith inside of them. God gifted you with it. Now that you have the Holy Spirit, Jesus, you've got Jesus' faith. You can learn to tap mm -hmm. into that by the Spirit. And you don't even live by your faith anymore. You live by the faith of the Son of God. And no some, sometimes the, 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 second, the second point sure is this, the knowledge. The knowledge. Do you hear me? Hello. The second point is the knowledge. Yes, I hear you. Uh, I was hear me myself. That way, I'm asking you. Hello. Hey, Alda. What does it do when I turn off the mic? I hmm? turned the mic off so I could Google a, a scripture. Ah, okay. Sorry. And what does it do? I was I was saying the 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 second point when the faith is not necessary but is necessary knowledge, not knowledge yes. from the word, knowledge from the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, Amen. because Amen. when it's a Amen. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit can make things uh, more than your faith. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Your faith can be small. We we say like small faith, and uh, he's making more for you. You know. Uh, yeah. So it's when you have knowledge, knowledge, and this this uh, this churn this churning this churning, because um, uh, not everyone can discern discern the presence of God. Many people think. Uh, did I have fear? Fear? Because, um, you know, they will come in the, uh, from the same, same part, invisible part, what we don't see. And God also, you know? And the people say, okay, yeah. uh, they, uh, I was speaking with my mother yesterday, and I was telling uh, tell her something about the language uh, of uh, angels language uh, speaking in tongues and something like this and 
he have uh, he has some sometimes think okay i have to um she she know bible and she saved me we have to uh, just a second i translate trebuie să diferențiem dar rom german romanish english uh, we must to to different differentiate the spirit uh so to the end to study the spirits i don't know how what is the uh, right word to make a untership difference to make the difference you know people want to make the difference because to know spiritual things to know spiritual things to know who is god and who is uh, uh david because i don't know where exactly in the bible uh right is writing that um devil can uh close like uh jesus or like god and uh, the prophesy say there are many people and many visionary or prophets who coming uh in the name of jesus but are sent it from satan and i explained to my mother that this uh i actually for the people these prophets and this um uh visioner they they have visions they are people who waiting messiah jesus he, who, who waiting messiah but doesn't recognize that he was he don't he don't believe yeah. jesus they don't believe jesus yeah, these they're people not honest. They're these people have a belief as a torah as a old testament yeah the law but the doesn't and doesn't recite jesus okay and what i i'm telling i was telling to my mother is that devil devil ha, was writing about the prophecy and sign when he is come the antichrist as like a messiah he will build a messiah yeah. in this in this um, um in this faith from these people who doesn't become jesus until now mm -hmm. and they think he was he's coming messiah we know he's coming the second time for them is the the first time you know but it was indicated to the antichrist that is messiah you know mm -hmm. so this prophesies uh, yeah. this prophesies and this thing will say uh, for because i have a, a friend of mine he's uh, from islam and i try to say please keep salvation i have here <laughs> keep salvation and he is um, uh, believing uh, quran he, he have a uh, Quran and they say, Did, don't you see oh, uh, in your Quran, in Quran, it's writing that you have to be, um, uh, to keep the, the, the Bible to, to, to look at. It's gave uh, indication in uh, um, Isaiah, in uh, Isaiah, Isaiah. I don't know how I have to say Isaiah in uh, English. Isaiah, this, uh, this prophet Isaiah yes Isaiah yeah Isaiah Isaiah, Isaiah. is in Quran too but is a very yes. big modification a very big modification and uh, still lying but how I have to say uh, for these people is not a lie he think that is God he doesn't think that is not uh, uh they they go to the devil he they he think that is uh, our god you know yeah. it's a, a very complicated yeah. and uh my mother say okay i have when uh, she hear me because i say every time i say it's very important to speak in uh, tongues 
and she say uh, yes but uh, sometimes it uh, can be scary for people who doesn't uh, have approach with the spiritual things you know yeah that's people right. who doesn't it have is. can can be a, a little ambition also eh? uh, a little bit strange i have a, a cousin of mine she is baptist you know what this mean mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. she doesn't uh, they uh, they doesn't um, think that uh, that um, tongue the tongues speaking in tongues yeah. is for us he does he thinks yeah. it, it was just for um, for um, apostles amen they yeah, think I like know. this I know they but it's not like this it's for but... everyone yes amen amen victoria i mean amen alda i'm with you on that god god knew that we were going to go through all of this with all of those people but we have them in our life to share the truth with them prayerfully with the power of the holy spirit you share and then their blood is not on your hands i was telling chuck yesterday that when we get to heaven all those people that we work with all day that we don't share about jesus because we were ashamed or embarrassed not to be cool their blood is going to be on our hands when we get to heaven guys i'm not joking i'm serious it's very important ezekiel was told that if he did, was scared of them that there there was going to be on their hands so we need to be serious about this this is serious it's serious so let's pray Vic, um alda and come back on whenever you feel like it and i'll pray with you but i want to we, we've been live for three and a half hours and if you can come <laughs> on at around 7 30 usa uh i don't know try to come on and then which time can you say well uh, you've one only been time? one hour hmm? 7 30 usa it may be better when Victoria Eastern. write in the chat because I don't know what exactly say it's ever touching. Okay. okay. Well, let me pray with you so that I can pray for Christopher and Victoria. I think she's got a a um, I I don't know exactly what for to... Christopher. I want her blessing. Ah, oh, he want your blessing. Amen. Yes, he wanted me to pray with him. So I'll bless him. And then um, and then Tuesday, guys, come join us. We're going to, it's going to be fun. You're, you're going to start to see your life get better. You're going to start to see your walk with Jesus get closer. You're working yes, the word. You're just working it. And that's all you can do is Jesus uses regular people to work the word. You know, Isaiah, all of them were regular people. And you are too. And God's calling you to a higher calling you don't want we need to pull together and do our do our assignment and finish well finish well it's not about how we started it's about how we finish so um just raise your hands to jesus and i'll pray with you father lord i thank you for 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 alda lord and i thank you for the visions and the dreams that you're giving her to share with the body of believers and lord i thank you for what they are doing building the faith in us lord building strength in us lord edifying the body in the spiritual things helping us to be more spiritual helping us to have more faith and trust in you lord and giving us direction to do your will and your assignment and your call that you have on our life lord i thank you for what you are doing in alda i thank you for giving her confirmations lord set out a fleece like you did for gideon in the name of jesus father you know what she needs lord may you give her everything that she needs you don't make us go blind you don't make us take blind faith so right now in the name of jesus father we thank you for first letting her know where you're sending her what you're having her do giving her clear direction may she not miss a single thing you say may she not miss it 
may it be just as clear as it was when you came and explained to Jeremiah the pot spilling to the north or I believe it was the north but Lord may it be just that clear when you explain to him what was going to happen may you explain and bring to light may she watch this back and may she see what you are saying to her may she listen to herself and hear what she's saying you're speaking through her Lord may she see that in Jesus name give her strength and we thank you that she's pure in heart Lord we thank you that you are softening the hearts of those that she sent to and that by the Spirit of God and Victoria being used as a vessel of God just as Moses was with your spirit inside of her, with your staff, Lord, that she will do what you have called and purposed her to do with her life. And she will heal the sick. She will preach the gospel. She will raise the dead even. She can even walk on water, Lord. May she figure this out, that she can do all of this. Take up deadly serpents and they won't harm her. Drink deadly poison and it will not harm her. May she know that spiritual serpents and deadly poison that will not harm her because nothing that this world can throw at her can take her out because she is immortal and she's going to be forever with you in heaven in eternity lord and we thank you for that thank you for strengthening her in jesus name Amen. by the power of your spirit and that's for everybody else now or in the playback thank you lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you Amen. girl thank you Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Father, right now, it stir her gifts, and may she cast out demons, heal the sick, and preach the gospel. May, may demons begin to tremble in people as she's sharing the gospel, and may she set them free as Moses set the, the Israelites free from the Egyptians. May she begin to see fruit, supernatural fruit, bearing in her life right now in, 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 in extreme levels. May she do exploits in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Alda, God bless you. Come back. God bless you, too. God bless you, too. God bless you, too. I just... Uh, watch this and listen to yourself. I have a, a little request. Uh, a, a short, short prayer. I want to pray for Victoria Susan Baldwin. Okay. Just uh, ju just uh, uh, one thing. Father, I'm Amen. coming to you. We coming to you together and we want to pray for uh, Victoria. I say Victoria supernatural and you know it to God. You know my Lord. I just want uh, to say second your word, you say you give the desire of the heart to your child and you know the desire of the heart from Victoria I just want to thank you because you will execute your word in favor of Victoria in the name of Jesus amen amen in the name of Jesus thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you out of thank you Lord thank you Jesus we love you out of come back Come back, okay? Okay, but you have to Come make me Monday. out. I typed it. I typed it. It's at the top. See it? Hmm? Oh, wait. Is it showing? There you go. Is it? Ah, now? leave. No, okay. Okay, I'm leaving. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Alda, see it says Eastern 7.30, Eastern USA time. So Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, flour fluorescent Christopher, Lord, you know every need, you know every hair on his head. Lord, we thank you for giving him direction. We thank you for giving him peace of mind. We thank you for giving him provision, Lord. Where you guide, you provide, Lord. We thank you that you will begin to illuminate the steps that he needs to take, whether he needs to buy or sell, turn left, turn right, Lord, that you begin to illuminate the steps that he needs to make, Lord, that if this thing that he's going through wasn't 
based on the solid rock of Christ and you're wanting him to pull out and change and do something else, Lord, may you make that happen smoothly, suddenly, and may it be such a blessing to him as it always is, Lord, with every single one of your children in the word of God. Every single battle, he will win the victory for the battle is the Lord's. We thank you, Lord, that he will be a blessing to the third and the fourth and the fifth generations of his family, that they will never go in lack. Lord, that they will always have abundance, that they will see in the spirit and they will carry out the will of God for their lives on, on this earth, on this earth until the day that Jesus returns. Lord, we thank you that we don't look to things like what we're going to eat, what we're going to wear, what we're going to drink. But we do thank you, Lord, that when we seek first the kingdom, that everything else is added unto us, Lord. Father, keep our minds pure, keep our hearts pure, keep our, our hearts free from the love of money ever. In the name of Jesus, sanctify us by the power of your spirit, by your word. Your word is true, and that is the final say. May we judge everything by the power of your word. Every single person now are in the playback that stands for them as well. Father, as you bless them, as you lead them through, may their spiritual gifts be stirred. May they begin to be thrusted into their spiritual destiny, wherever they are in the four corners of the earth. May they know that there are angels with them as they walk out your calling on this earth and their assignment, that they were predestined from the foundation of the earth to be born for such a time as this, to do your amazing work amazing will lord and we thank you we thank you that in this 11th hour that miracles signs and wonders are going to spring forth exploits and your children will do them lord by your spirit we thank you for the staff of moses that you put in our hands by the spirit of god and if we could see in the spirit we would all see that we all have spiritual staffs in our hand lord that we have horns in the spirit lord that are more powerful than anything that the devil has, that we are seated in heavenly places above all principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places, and that all the devil has against us is to come and tie us with our lust and try to drag us away. But may we have authority over our bodies. May we, may we mortify our flesh with fasting and prayer. And by your spirit, Lord, May you keep us purified, sanctified, holy, set apart. We are righteous in Christ. May we know this. May nothing formed against us prosper. No weapon in the name of Jesus, for the battle is the Lord's. 1 Samuel 17, 47. Father, keep our hearts pure. Keep our hearts pure. Keep our eyes clean, Lord. Keep our ears from hearing things that will vex our righteous souls. Don't let us be vexed by this world around us, Father. Help us to keep our focus on Jesus as Moses did before he crossed the Red Sea. May we all keep our focus on Jesus. May we seek first that kingdom that when everything else is added unto us, we built this off of Christ, the solid rock. That's why you got us down to nothing and started us from nothing so that we could give you all the glory, all the praise. For you deserve it, you alone. Almighty God, we worship you. We honor you, O Prince of Peace. King of kings and Lord of lords, most high God, we love you. We worship you. We love you, Lord. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, every pain, any burning, any stinging in, in Victoria's shoulder, I bind you now in the name of Jesus. I command you to go in Jesus' name. Anybody else that is in pain right now in Jesus' name, I bind you. The Lord rebukes you, and I command you to go out of them now in Jesus' name. Burning out. Pain out, stinging out in the name of Jesus. Jesus bore all our sickness and all our pain. And I thank you, Lord, that their bodies are beginning to restore 100%. Nothing missing, nothing broken. No pain in Jesus' name. No lack, wholeness, nothing missing, nothing broken. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Light be, light be. May you know that there are more with you than there are with them. May the angels of God sweep your entire dwellings. May you carry the atmosphere that the angels encamp, that fear the Lord. They are in that atmosphere. May you carry that atmosphere. May you watch the words you say. May the Holy Spirit put a guard at the door of your lips so you do not sin against God. May you respond as your words are soldiers, may you speak as an oracle of God. Your, pen, your tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Do not speak cursing over your life. 
Do not neutralize what the word of God has done tonight, what we have done in prayer. Do not neutralize it and give up and cave in and say, oh, well, I just guess that's not for me. No, in the name of Jesus, you are going to leave you are going to leave an inheritance to your grand, great, grand, great, great, grand, generation after generation that they will not know lack, that they will have, they will be saved by faith through grace, by grace through faith in the name of Jesus, that they will have Jesus and they will not experience the things and the turmoil that you went through because you will leave them better than you started in the name of Jesus as God's people do, as Abraham left Isaac. And, and Abraham's worker went and got him a wife and said, my, my master's father is really rich and he's going to have this stuff. You know, we don't have to worry about these things, but those blessings are yours. And the reason I'm telling you is because I don't want you to speak against it. Abraham's blessings are yours. I don't want you to speak against it. You could stop everything with your tongue. You can stop it all, guys. This is so serious. I silence the enemy right now in those lies that you believed all your life. In the name of Jesus, I cut every soul tie in the spiritual realm. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you, Satan. You have to lose them. You have to leave them alone in Jesus' name. You must flee. Father, we submit under your mighty hand. Help us to use our weapons that are not carnal but are mighty in God. May we walk around being the biggest love bucket to pour out in this world. Bringing you glory, Father, loving the most unlovable creatures, the most hateful people. May we supernaturally love them by your spirit and bring glory to your name. Father, I thank you for removing all pain from my brother and from my sisters now and in the playback. I thank you that that gift of healing rests on them now that they can cast out demons, they can heal the sick, they can preach the gospel. Mark 16, 17, they will speak in new tongues. They will do signs and wonders and miracles in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of the glorious glorious prince of peace thank you lord thank you jesus you are blessed you are blessed you are blessed you are blessed guys come back i want to hear all of you share i want to know you all god's going to give you the desires of your heart he kind of makes them into his desires but he already made you like that you just think you want something else like your kid does when your kid wants some junk food but then it realizes when it gets that good food the chicken and dumplings or whatever that it likes that was real that it got what it wanted and that's what it's going to be like with you you hear me god bless you out we love it when you come on and share sister victoria bless you um Email me and and we will talk, sister. I love you. And we'll figure out how to get your phone fixed. God bless you all. God bless you, Christopher. God bless you. You guys can email me anytime, any questions. And if you want to give, the link is after. The Lord loves you. We are spreading the gospel. And we thank you for all of your help. We thank you so much. We thank you so much for giving into the ministry to help share the the gospel around the world, we've gotten almost 4 million views of the word of God, 500,000 a month going out, and none of this word goes void. So this is, y'all pray for us, pray for the channel, pray for me, and 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 God is just going to do big things in your life. Saturday's Prophet Lovey's birthday, pray for him, and go and give something to the poor, he said, for his birthday, and I like that. I like that he wants us to, to do something good for somebody else on his birthday. And I think that that's important that we do that. So if you guys have to do, you can fix a meal or lunch. Go and do that. God loves people who give alms and prayers. That's what Cornelius was doing. If you have to give, give. It's more blessed to give than receive. Don't let the devil keep you, keep you from your blessing. I love you guys. Love you so much. And Jesus loves you more. Yes, everybody, everybody. And I want to praise God. Praise God, Christopher. Praise God. Come back and join us. God is going to be doing big things in your life. He's going to give you clear vision. I declare it now in Jesus' name. I silence every tongue of the enemy. And you say that often. You hear me? Say, I silence you, devil, in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebukes you and I rebuke you. Get out of here. Father, I submit to you. I'm a new creation. Devil, you have to go. No condemnation of those who are in Christ. You speak this word out loud, Christopher. You speak it out loud. 
and you will transform by the power of the Holy Spirit and you will know exactly where you're supposed to be at exactly what time and you'll be in the right place at the right time and everything's going to work out. Amen. Happy birthday to that man of God. And we are family, guys. We are all one loaf and we're bringing unity back. It only takes one little spark to spark a wildfire and it's already burning. So we get, this is such a blessing. This is such a blessing. I declare you guys will have dreams and encounters tonight as you're sleeping. May angels and, and visions come to you in your sleep. May you have prophetic words as you're sharing your faith. Words of knowledge, words of insight, words of wisdom for your brethren as you're out sharing. If somebody's been dealing with some kind of depression, may you be able to prophesy about that, telling them the secrets of their heart, that they may come to Christ and you may win many souls. Get serious about winning souls and God will be serious about your business. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. That's the only power to save. If you're ashamed of God before men, he'll be ashamed of you before angels. Don't do it. I'm telling you, it's more blessed than anything. It's so blessed. Benny Hinn has a book, um, The Anointing, the the mistakes you make in the anointing and stuff. I recommend it. Um, and and good morning, Holy Spirit. If you're just beginning with the Lord or even if you're in the Lord, I recommend it. I love you guys, okay? And tomorrow at, I think, 12, Benny Hinn's dream of what made him preach is going to play. It's only nine minutes. It's, it looks like a, a racetrack around it, but um, on my, my videos, that's going to play tomorrow. So God bless you all. I love you. I love you. God bless you. Yeah, you got angels. You got angels. They're on chariots of fire. You the sick and you open the eyes of the blind. You're still the same God who still this heart you design. Your hands control the very will of time. This is love that can. Future the here.